Knuckles. Uh, and I'm here to commentate with a peepee head. Three. Well, that was, that, that was my intro. You took it from me. Hi, I'm, I'm Mr. Peepee Head. It's me, Turo. Uh, also, Rudy. Whatever your preference is. Uh, here to commentate some good old Guilty Gear for our beginner scene here in the Midwest. And real quick, before we get started, I just want to apologize for the delay. Julie and I literally got our uh, an announcement saying, like, hey, come get vaccinated uh, for your first shot uh, literally 30 minutes before tournament started. So we had to take care of that. Um, so thanks, everyone, for your patience. We're going to go ahead and get started. So uh, I'll let you guys take it away. All right, dope. Uh, I know right now we're going to be watching Quint and Roth fight. Got Quint Haitian versus Haitian. Jack. Yeah. And Jacko. Yeah, Wisconsin player versus wherever the heck Roth is from. I actually don't know. But what I do know is well, that Roth been, is uh, Roth's been on the grind with the Jacko as of late. Asking a lot yeah. of questions, trying to get that experience yeah. up. Uh, Quint is one of my ex-locals, so I'm happy to see them like actually competing. <laughs> so you got you got your bias to set. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's listen. So I, I, I never I want... when I signed up, I never said I had I was going to give unbiased. No, 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 it's, it's fine. You're, I'm not. I'm not saying it's a problem. I have my bias. I want Roth to win. Okay. That's well, the home. Then, well then, let's side bet on it. No, right. I don't. I don't want to do that. Uh, right. I, I I see how it be. All right. The rare not bounce the, start for you. The, the round start burst. Yep. Kind of heard the overhead didn't convert though. That what? <laughs> oh, yeah. you can. Okay. No, it, it's just a overhead. You need uh, meter or homies. Even on counter hit, damn. Yeah, it's uh, pretty it's, cool. it's plus zero on uh, normal hit and on counter hit. Usually the first hit hits first anyways, Ooh. so it just kind of like does nothing. So we're gonna we're gonna see that a lot as I say it. Actually, uh, Roth is really fond of the two P into command grab. Uh, because, you know, it'll open people up every now and then. Problem is, uh, when it doesn't work. See Grandpa Viper! You're in the corner. Mash, mash on the plus frames. Not the, not the decision to make when someone... DP on the 5D. Yeah. Did it again. DP on Wake Up Punish for that. Alright, slow it down. Got the Aegis Field, not bad. That was... I, you know, I... Ah, right, that, uh, that was a good IB, but... Unfortunately... Oh. Alright, pressing press 2P like you're supposed to with this character. Let's go, Quint. Yeah. The secret reversal everyone knows about. Because uh, that bun is a real good. Real good oh. is a very mild way of putting it. Uh, Alright, oh, you not take the, the right, chance. Okay. Didn't take the chance on the knockdown to set the house, though. It's true. Alright, house. 3H, oh. 3H, of course. Yeah, not canceling, not taking advantage of uh, stray hits. Maybe messing up the input in the moment. Yeah, just take that yeah. moment to get it right there. This tournament would be like that. Got it. You gotta change it up. He's he's got the two P. He's not gonna let you command grab him for free anymore. Clock up, Aegis. See, you just waiting it out. You like you like to see it. I, yeah. I'm gonna need Quint to kill the summons, one. but yeah. other than that, yeah, with two. But yeah, we're just talking about how the two P is so good. Use it to kill the summons. Yeah. <laughs> And the houses. You're 2k! <laughs> Alright. All right, so I feel it, like it'll do. See, the reason I asked if she could convert off the overhead is I thought one of the... She could convert with the minions. I just saw it happen. Yeah, that is possible, but uh, you have to be prepared for that, which, you know, not very... Uh, yeah, very difficult. Ooh, oh, that was, that was tight. Almost, that was almost the conversion. He was almost ready for that. Let's go. Alright, convert yep. into... Spin. Oh! Oh! Oh, let's go! Black beats count too. Didn't tech go. and didn't. Con yeah, I mean, I thought the combo was over too. Yeah. All right. The secret with the magic tech? of tech. With the magic of tech, it's never over. That's true. I actually thought Quinn was gonna go for a throw attempt there, so I I would got hit. That makes one of us. <laughs> it's because I'm <laughs> bad. It's okay. okay. No, okay, it's the secret we're all bad. Kinda just a uh, nice conversion. Let's go, let's go. People would do like to see a knockdown. I would like to see like Oki. Yeah, I would like to see people like it's very right now. Both of them are very being very like let's do the stray hit and then get them off me and then not capitalize off of it. Yeah, that's Quint every now and then does that, but like I feel in those scenarios where it was clearly their advantage, they they kind of drop the ball and be a yeah knock down to. Oki. I mean that's this character, um, right? The ball, the ball, the ball, the ball, the ball. Very funny. All right, local funny man, Trying to 
saw some jokes. Alright, nice counter hit. And then, uh, DP. <laughs> Lots of DP. Quint needs to know, needs to learn how to... Save jump. A save jump slash OS the DP, because it's incredibly slow. DMV startup. This is this is the Jacko condition. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Clutches it out. All that yeah. Man too. Okay. Rocket did manage to take advantage of uh, Jacko's win condition of having like both. I can't remember. Was it level two houses? Um, at least yeah. having the houses level two houses or houses in general in the cornering someone. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. was proper. Quint just uh, Quint just needs to uh, chill out and can be make cleaner conversions off of like a yeah. RA rather than make decisions to... on a. On some jank hits, they're like, okay, this, yeah. this hit's not gonna knock yeah. down, I'll take a chance to wipe the house out instead. Yeah, or just in general, just like... Oh! I, I didn't know that. I mean, that makes sense. The ball is, I guess, right top of the house. I just thought it would be like a little bit higher, because it could look profile. Ooh, good sweet. I think Dizzy can also look profile it, so I would imagine Jacko would be able to, with 3-H. Nice. Gets out of the right. with the DP. DP. Yeah. Nice I need... Alright, let's do some Oki. Okay, yeah. nice, nice. Let's go oh, and convert it. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. We want yeah. the we want the clean we want the clean consistency from both players, which they'll get there. Plus, it's also tournament, so they're gonna be super nervous. <laughs> True. Uh oh. At least save the houses. You have a level. Oh, oh yeah. I... Oh well, no. I guess this the part, is, uh... this, is the, this is the part where I can't say anything other than neither player knows what's actually going on. <laughs> I, I mean, Roth definitely was like, I want to blow shit up, but probably should have considered- that is a great super, actually. Uh, but should have considered, like, hey, I have a little free house, dunk. I should save that. The Chaos Dunk. Yeah. Space Amber 2 did come out soon. That's not a team there. Fuck this mix up, Bates okay, a DP. Not, oh, Bates a DP, but didn't get a real punish on it, but the throw, but- A Chicago throw, punish, though, it counts. It, it doesn't, but it, it, <laughs> It's better than no punish. That's definitely the guilty gear. Mash throw and hope. Cray. Wow, that's right. That is a decent bonus. They're both oh. trying to play footsies. Surprisingly, Rafa stopping Quint from just mashing 2p. Again, the jack of condition. Just chill, yeah. Let the homies but to do be what fair, they command grab would be a good answer to 2p because it fits her airborne and like high profile it, I guess. I suppose, but haven't we seen him? Uh, haven't we seen? Sorry, hey you. To pee them out? Uh, have we? <laughs> there, I I'm, gonna be, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be real with you and everyone in the chat. This match is such a is so like, chaotic that and Roth takes this match is so chaotic. Of the I, devil. I don't uh, really know what to say. Far <laughs> slash trading with the 5D. Roth and takes it clean 2 0. Good job, Rothington. Playing some really, really, really good jack You should have you, you bet. You would have taken my money, but you're a coward. Damn it. I am a coward. Listen, sometimes it's better to be safer than it is to be aggressive, and that time I got hit, you know? I mean, that doesn't sound like a Viking player. <laughs> I'm trying to change my ways, okay? You're, you're reformed now? <laughs> Good join, both players. Hey, Turleth. Hey. Oh, man. Oh, go, do go I go fight red light. Oh, okay. Okay, well, so... It's my turn to hop out. Bye, yeah, PP you head. go over there, I'm gonna call our next... Because... Yeah. Um, I gotta bring up there. beginner bracket, and who do we got? So, uh, just for the record there, Roth, you did a great job dealing with, uh, High Hune's options. Uh, although what I will say is that against moves with leading hurt boxes, which I believe High Hune's 6H is one of them, I can't say for sure. You can, uh, on reaction to just being forced to block because of the pre-block frames, you should be able to just press 2H, and it should beat it pretty much every time clean. I did really like also the awareness just up the Agus field in response to Super Ball because like hey that's really really smart it's like oh you spent 50 meter cool I'm going to turn that off now so really good showing from both our players I'm it's good to see like these underrepresented characters show up in NKO next up we got uh, Waxade here versus uh, Caitlyn Snow um, speaking of underrepresented characters we got Venom versus Zato coming out I'm pretty sure so. This will be interesting. I don't think I've seen either of these players play, so this will I be know, my favorite. I know Waxade's uh, been in the uh, last couple of games. I believe they've, they've actually been changing care, um, changed their player, um, who they play a little bit. But uh, Caitlyn's relatively new to NKO. I think this is their first. I show. did. I did know that, but I haven't. I recognize the name Waxade, and I've never seen them play, so this will be exciting. And of course, this matchup, uh, relatively 
I would say relatively even between the two characters, but Zato definitely on the back foot just because Venom's so able to snipe Eddie. Of course, yeah. Uh, Caitlyn has. Yeah, Caitlyn hasn't gotten uh, Eddie set up on the field yet. Waiting for the yeah, there it is. There's the knockdown. Now time to summon Eddie. Good lockdown good. pressure. Yeah, actually being able to loot pressure. And looks like gets out, but now he has to hold the mix up. First, unfortunately, with. It's Eddie down on the field and a perfect. Dang, a perfect! Four. Wow, we're really starting off like that was like the most casually, in inoffensively, not aggressive perfect I've ever seen. I mean, considering how it's about to work, sometimes he's just got to turn off the gas and let Eddie come back. Good use of drunkard shade though to uh, just remove the ball off the uh, screen. Zato telling Venom, "No, I don't want your balls." Escape ride. Alright, so getting some damage on the board this round here, though. Block the overhead. Block the overhead. Yeah. yeah. Six feet a little too early. Definitely one thing to be aware of. Oh, when... nice. Counter hit QVI. Almost. Um, one thing to really be aware of when you're fighting Zato is instant blocking those drills and then taking your turn on those whiffs, too. Because if you instant block the drill, you take away Zato's boss frame to kind of end his turn. Yeah, and it makes it easier to re respond. And if you IB it, you can IAD at him, the thing on the character. Good, 6 B to stop the corner mm -hmm. pressure, and hey, hey, and hey. save burst. Yep. Really nice air throw there, too. Let's go, Caitlyn. Oh, wow, 6 P meets JK. Uh, Zato's JK just a match, just by not interacting at all with 6 P. But Caitlyn's going to take game one. Uh, like I say, got a chance to play, I'd say, in the second round there. Um, first round didn't really get much of a chance. Yeah, we did see both people, like, running Oki and, like, converting off of it. It is needs to happen a little bit more often, but it's a good showing so far. I mean, both these characters without any reversals at all, um, I think the best one in this matchup is probably Venom's Burst Archangel, which is going to cause 50 meter and a burst. Got the knockdown, time for the Eddie mix. Nice. And Caitlyn, I believe, is our nice third... Nice Caitlyn's our third Zato player we've seen in NKO too, so it's like yeah. really cool to see a bunch of these like new Zatos. Yeah, NKO's like play like character count ecosystem, like character pop is really interesting and not very typical. So. Yeah, like we have like no soul players. No, We're not aerodynamic, and I think that's about it. Yeah, Fawn is about the only one, and he's in Kentucky right now, so. Oh. Rip Fawn. Good flight gets away. Oh, he jumped out of the drill. Yeah, that's good. Fawn. Yeah, I mean. Both players are doing a good job of just... I'd say they're playing the basics of the matchup. It's just a little bit of tightening up some execution. I would 100% agree with the armor. Ooh, the ball. <laughs> a nice yeah, drunkard. drunkard. Yeah, drunkard. Yeah, take my turn back. Take their turn back. Caitlyn with a uh, full bar ooh, meter, ooh. but no Eddie. Ooh, you know with all this meter, they can use that wire so he gets the over. Oh, nice overhead. Players are kind of backing off here. Eddie's out on the field. Right. Got the first knockdown and immediately bursts as soon as they get knocked out. Doesn't want to deal with that. And greedy ball sick gets countered. Ooh, a little bit of uh, execution error there by Caitlyn, nice. though. Gets the nice throw. throw. Nice throw. Yeah. I, 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 both players are playing really I, I, almost passively, where neither one of them wants to like I run in too aggressively. It might be a little bit of like matchup uncomfortable, like lack of comfort. Yeah, I would. I will say though, like if you don't know, if you're not comfortable in a matchup, especially like in these sorts of uh, beginner brackets, the best thing you can do is really just try to kind of do what Caitlyn's doing. Or go for the unblockable setup. Can they do it? No, oh. it doesn't help, but works out anyway. But. So I was saying, just try to run over your opponent because they probably don't know how to defend against you until you can. They can prove that they can deal with you. Yeah, I agree. That that's generally a better strategy. Caitlyn's doing a good job of blocking this cable ball and getting out. Uh, Wixade's just not quite getting the conversions to make them count. Ooh, really nice air throw. Yeah, Caitlyn's got some shark baller time. air throws in this set. Yep, shark time, shark time. Shark week and oh, the six P whiffs and good, good showing from Caitlyn. Yeah, really strong. That's Caitlyn 2-0 over Waxade. Mm, Waxade still has a chance in the in the the losers bracket, and so it'll be okay. 
Okay. I think Rudy's back from his match Hello. now, so I'll go ahead and. So, uh, Rudy, did you win? I'll back off. I did win. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Get dunked on, Brett. I'm sure you'll watch this VOD at some point. Wow. Or you already have it on right now. Kayla did really well. That was cool. Some bomb yeah, it was awesome. Out there. Yeah, there was at least two. Yo, Aiden. That's my homie. Love to see you. I don't Aiden know if he's still to... playing. Uh, go on, sorry. So what matchup are we seeing? So I know Pepto plays Faust, and I know Aiden was playing Raven. I don't know if he's still playing Raven? Uh, yeah, we'll I'm see. not familiar with Ava or Aiden at all. Pepto I've seen, yeah, I knew that they played Faust. So, so. Aiden previously, uh, or at least mostly from what I know, a BB type player, as was I. <laughs> That's where we met. Uh, that explains how you play? Wow. <laughs> wow. Imagine. The goal. You're I don't right. have to imagine. <laughs> you're, that, you're right, but still. <laughs> All that tracks for Ross. Hidden where it hurts. It's true. Anyway, more importantly, uh, it's good to see Aiden, actually. I've been meaning to drag him into more gear, but I don't like really forcing people to play if they don't want to, you know? So, yeah. I'm happy he's, uh, cool. he's here. Let's see, who are they playing? Yep, Raven. Yeah. Hello. Let's see. How, how I've, have you seen this matchup before? Because this actually is unfamiliar to me. Um, we don't really have a lot of Raven players in the Midwest that I'm aware of. We have Chie Lover, and yeah. but that's about it that I, that I can think of. I imagine it's kind of rough for Raven because, like, Faust is I a think great air do. That JH so. is really dominating. Yeah, I feel like Faust has buttons that have fairly that are fairly active and have range, which is tough for Raven to deal with with his dash. Because mm -hmm. even though it can go through buttons, buttons with higher active frames will typically catch it on the way out. Yeah, and, and also, oh, no, oh, it's fine. And also, he can uh, wall Raven in the corner, and Raven has trouble escaping. Um, that's quite the the display name. Um, so let's see what we got going on so far. So far, pretty solid. From Aiden, if nothing else. Got this, got the solid Raven game plan down, right? Yep. Good do scratch. It. The no mix up, mix up, scratch. Okay. Oh, nice! That was a nice response to Needle YRC. Uh, I didn't know that worked, but now I know. I was thinking the homie was gonna hit him out of it, though. Good stuff from Aiden. Yeah, Getting some it. characters can low profile it. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's uh, that's another thing like Faust can do is just like crawl forward using the like uh, down forward input and then do like 2K, right? I could possibly mess up Aiden in the, uh, the beach. Okay, we're all going my way. I don't know about that. We're exploring the game space here, but. I don't I mean, know if that's the right path, but... Yeah, we gotta... I mean, <laughs> we gotta show, like... We gotta have Aiden show that he can't punish her, though, is the thing, right? Of Otherwise, course, of course. Because it's gonna be like, I'm, I'm good, Aiden. Okay. Uh, it's the Cajun burst. I, I don't know about that either, but... Homie's trying. <laughs> nice conversion. No, good conver Nice conversion! Let's go, Aiden. Ooh. Oh, doesn't get the knockdown, though. That's fine. We're back in there, because we're raving. Is that a foul specific oh, combo? I've never oh. seen that. Homie's got combos. Yeah. Yo, my got my homies in the chat too. Yes, that is me in the chat. Hi, Raiden. Good to see you. Mm. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's nice stuff from uh, Aiden. Just they're showing really, you know, solid Raiden so far. Oh, some some slight hiccups here and there. You know, not getting the the knockdown where it can be. Possibly Shut up, Reed. Options. Reed said that's not you in the chat. You're on the on the mic. Shut up, Reed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you don't guys. It's okay, he's my local, I can say that. It's, uh, yeah, someone Oh, has nice counter hit, um, Pogo. The delay Pogo was nice to catch the, like, jump back air option. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. Just keep him out. Oh, Gave him the free candy. Nice. Yeah. Pepto's a nice person. Yeah, all the Valentine's Day chocolate is on sale. Whoa! Like, ew, that's so unsanitary, dude. Alright, nice 6H, didn't cancel on anything. Okay. Door. I can never, like, knowingly block that correctly. I just kind of block it on accident, to be honest. The door. I, I do jump back at air FD. That's a smart idea. I should do that. Thank it, you. It, 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 it. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, oh, oh but I didn't really punish it, though, sadly, but he blocked it. Yeah, blocked it. Yeah, I unfortunately, mean, Concho Super is very slow. Not a true reversal, but it can punish some uh, not perfect approaches. Oh, that was Good, a nice uh, try with this. With this, I think believe that a six H. Yeah, so. that was a either a throw bait or they just tried to get the. Um, I'm sorry, Pepto either was thinking the throw was gonna happen, so tried pressing button. But I think Aiden was like, I was just, I just want a frame trap in here. 
Yeah, and they just happen to trade. Yeah, he's got a great button for that. What is, is that? I actually don't know what button that is. Is that like instant JH? Which character? Faster Raven? Uh, Raven. Or like that. That? I think that's jumping. That's 6H, isn't it? That's... So he might have, so he might have also just been mashing throw. Like... That? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it, okay, so he was trying to bait it out of here. It's okay. a solid button. I always get... Like, I always forget and get hit sometimes. It's not a matchup I'm proficient in quite yet. I do want to see more uh, ball Oki from Aiden. Yeah, he's a... Uh... But his conversions are good, so it's like helping. Ooh. He's winning the damage race. Yeah. Nice counter scratch. He's winning the damage race in the mid game, and while he's not getting like the strongest Oki, he's getting good enough pressure to where he's mm -hmm. keeping the lead over Pepto. There are some instances I would like to see him use his meter to his advantage. Like, kind of like that, right? Get your free in. Oh, nice. That is uh, a clean game from Aiden. And we're 2 0. Oh. Same as fast. I yeah. Blink. Yeah. Oh, Ross having some technical difficulties from the sound of it. A little, little, little robot y. Yeah, I, hey. I, I'm, I, I'm on the Airbnb Wi Fi. There's nothing I can do. That's fine. <laughs> hey, you know what? You're here everyone... despite it. Yeah, I'm here despite it, but... And we appreciate your time. You're welcome. I mean, what else is I gonna do? I'm sitting here recovering from surgery, so... I'm stuck in an Airbnb doing nothing. What else is I gonna do? <laughs> I'm either gonna be roasting you on the mic, or I'm gonna be roasting you in the chat. Might as well... It's true. Might, as well, try to be, might as well try to be productive. <laughs> while also doing it. Aiden, shut up. I'm trying to give you the... I'm giving you the props. You're not just pressing the button. Shut up. It was all calculated. Uh, I mean, Zanny, I know plays Sin, so that's. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna be fighting though. Sin, who is the other person? Ragnell three four five. We don't know yeah. who they play. I haven't seen them. BBW Slayer. There's some like very choice, and I use choice very loosely here. Uh, display name, Steam, Steam names joining this 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 uh <laughs> this NKO. <laughs> uh. Listen, I'm not here to judge people's names that much. So that's why yeah. I'm here. It's the dichotomy. Yeah. That's why. I'm here. <laughs> Hmm. I've said what I said, it but I might, for I big might bang be a liar. Whopper. Big Bang Whopper. I might, I might. I might be a liar, Roz. I might be a liar. Why I'm judging lie? that. I'm judging that name a little bit, just a little okay. bit. Okay. I look. I, look, I've been done trying to tell y'all. Yeah. Okay, so it's Biken versus Sin. Okay. Well, Rudy. Oh, okay. A more standard I, matchup. I'm I'm a little a, a little familiar with this matchup to say the least. A little bit. Yeah, so. but, you know, just one of my, my good good friends plays this character and slaps some butt cheeks with it every now and then. Uh, from what I gathered, yeah. this is pretty even, but also it really it's kind of swingy. Whoever gets their game plan going can keep it pretty pretty well. Um, I can see that. Uh, just if. If the Biken does a, a crouching Azami and the Sin is just like, I'm just gonna bull bash for the fuck of it, and it, and you know, Biken didn't call that out, she dies. That's that's the matchup. Don't don't do Azami all the time, because you think Isn't it's a good that idea. Every yeah, yeah, you say that, but and yet you know, it, it bears repeating, right? Word. I imagine that like this Biken has like the damage to keep up with Sin. And a zombie deals with like a few of the good pokes because if I recall correctly, two S is a mid, so you yes. don't have, so you only have to worry about slide. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess we. Well. It is unfortunately a matchup that can kind of make like a bit too comfortable to use Caesar around for neutral, which is a big problem because if the, like if the Sid sniffs that out, he's like, all right, Elka, 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 what are you gonna yeah. do, Elka? Nice. Nice. Tried to mash on plus frames. There we go, okay. got my head speak of the devil, there it is. Right, decent, not bad. A decent uh, pressure sequence right there, didn't convert, but that's fine. Tried to go for the zombie, didn't die for it. We'll count that, we'll count that lucky thing. Conversion. Nice hit. Both people have been taking advantage of their plus frames at the very least, yeah. so far. I like seeing Ragnell choose to be on the defensive when they saw the wire scene instead of like trying to gamble. Yes, and, this, and our sim player takes it. Nice. Good stuff from Zanny. They were a pretty, uh, pretty solid sin I fought recently as well. They've been been on the grind. Love to see them doing, doing pretty well. Yeah, gotta always love the mint chocolate chip. It's a good color. It is a good color. 
Ooh, you okay. Like Alright, exploring the game space. Nice punish. A big yeah. thing that like sets people apart in my opinion from the NKOs that I've watched and the people I've played, like the people that can like consistently punish and convert things and make mistakes like count against the opponent rather than not making them count, mm -hmm. tend to go further in the bracket. Yeah, you wanna make Even even count. if everyone's neutral is like understandably kind of green, like the people that convert mistakes consistently are more likely to win. Mm -hmm. Because all you have to do is make their mistakes hurt more ways. Yep, that that's very common. Ooh, traded with Beak Driver. That's lucky. If I didn't trade, ooh. Yep. Yeah, that's understandable. This is a. It can be a bit tricky to figure out this matchup. I think as an early Viking, I remember I used to have some difficulties myself, because you know I didn't, I didn't like neutral, so I used Sue's ran and run up the zombie. Didn't imply that you like neutral. How, <laughs> Uh, I mean, I like to think I'm okay at it, but you know, everyone needs improving over time. That's true. I I am no perfect person, right? And mm. apparently neither is Ragnar. Go into the soul, because fuck bike. Hmm. Actually, I imagine the matchup would be even ish, or maybe slightly favoring Sin. I don't know if like Soul has like any character specific combos that like make Sin big hurdy or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But Beak Driver and stuff like that seems to be like stuffing Soul's ground buttons. And a lot of Soul's got like air buttons would probably still struggle with Sin 6P since Sin 6P is so strong. Mm -hmm. From what I hear, the matchup. Yeah, from what I hear, the matchup is pretty even. Uh, our resident Sin player, FNTR, says like the main difficulty Sin has is like he can't get a lot of big damage confirms off of uh, Soul because his hurt box is actually kind of weird. So when he's in combos, he gets a more like blue lightning instead of red lightning hits. Uh, for those of you who don't know, blue lightning being the thing that does less damage in sent combos whenever he does a special, red lightning being you know the main lightning effect that you want because it does more damage. Ooh, danger time! Danger time! Oh, <laughs> oh, does it? That would have been huge. This is oh. fine. Oh. Oh, oh god, so everyone, everyone's so scared. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're simultaneously I mean, have no fear, but all the fear, because they're all, like, I'm mad, but also, I'm scared. All things considered, for these characters, like, that was the tamest thing to time I've seen in a while. Yeah, you're not wrong, because Sin really excels in Danger Time instead of Soul. Yeah, if, nice if, the, Sin, with revolver, if the Sin so. player, like, picks up any hit in Danger Time and converts it into something good, man, that's gonna kill yeah. you. There you go, nice, converting off the si or getting pressure off the 6H and then converting. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, you know what? All right. I mean, if, if it works, it works, I guess. I mean, no safe point. Oh, ooh. ooh, you gotta IB that. We gotta block it and then just punish it. Yeah, would have liked to IB see like, it would help. I, I would like to see uh, Zanny represent the the DP a little bit more because there's a lot of uh, like. I was gonna say that too. A really important part about playing Sin, um, is that his DP is special cancelable and it's like so you can use it as a frame trap tool, relatively low risk. Mm -hmm. And so if you know your opponent's mashing, you can do it delayed to catch them mashing. And so he needs to represent that option, like yeah. against people that are pressing buttons. And even if they block it, like you get to cancel. And granted that's spending calories, but you still gotta spend calories to get things going with this character. If you don't like that, then why are you playing Sin? Mm -hmm. it, it's if nothing else to make them conscientious of the fact like, hey, he could just like IB this and ruin my pressure. So I should be like more passive and safe. Yeah. And in those Pretty moments, sure. that's when you choose to just jump out. Like, all right, back to neutral. My, my favorite. Ooh, both far side. Nice, nice, nice stuffing. Delayed. Good speak. speak. The three K was nice too. Stuff the low. Yeah, that's a very good one that isn't used enough from some players. I feel. Yeah, it's definitely like beginner sins definitely undervalue it. Oh, nice dead angle. But actually, oh, I, oh my I god. I've seen Danny. <laughs> Danny's actually kind of uh, fond of it. He, he uses it, or they use a decent amount. Nice. Which is good. It's, uh, good. Unfortunately, we've like all the people on stream and people I like I'm not very familiar with, so I don't have any yeah, like personal cool. comments on their habits. But they seem to be doing pretty good in the neutral. I mean, Sin like wants to win the mid game, and he's definitely getting like respectful conversions. And he doesn't seem lost, oh, and they don't good. lost during straight hits either. So that's nice. A little bit too much hesitation. I'm trying to punish that soul DP. Yeah, wow. nice XP. Yeah. The character yeah. option. Especially, if, yeah, if, if Soul does anything there and Sin does 6P, like that, he just wins Ooh, the XP. Uh, he got his input crossed up. 
All right, we just doing stuff now, huh? All right. Yeah, I that, mean that was good. <laughs> okay, nice. Get the side swap, and then yeah, see all these flame. moments. Yeah, nice good like... counter hit. Yeah, that was good. The to catch the slide. Good adjustment. Flame instead of press foot. Because uh, the Sen was probably expecting it to be low profile or to low profile a button. So it's not over that was yet. Good. Not over yet. Or was nope. it? No way it is. I'm yeah. sorry. That was so fast. Oof. Oh, bummer. But it is how it is, right? Wait, didn't the, the Sin win the first game, right? Did the yeah. Soul win too? Yeah, Soul okay. won too. Hey, I, I've obviously hey, not ever What's up? Oh, Just yeah. Play your match. Not on that one. No. I listen, I forget how to leave sometimes. All right, I'll be right back. You're fighting against Laco Jiggle Physics, otherwise known as Bye Jimmy. Oh, what I meant. Bye Jimmy. I see. Good luck. Pretty. We're going to have Puddins versus Imp Retro coming on here. Rinse and Repeat, which is a great Steam name. Yeah, I agree. Rinse and Repeat is definitely a good Steam name. So it's Zato versus Axel. I imagine like this might be tough for Zato because Axel probably has yeah, a period like, of ways of killing, it, killing Eddie speak, safely. Speaking of Rinse and Repeat, yeah, just, you know, just Rinse and. Yeah, just do it again. Yeah, though oh, I imagine they win. Though I imagine when Axel's knocked down, it's probably pretty rough for him. Well, yeah, I mean, Axel's DP is only one hit, so you'll kill Eddie and then probably get punished for it. Yeah, it's, it's the same kind of like, kill on Eddie, though, right? Like, yeah. Like, get, sometimes, even, even if you're getting punished for it, guaranteeing that you get to kill Eddie is worth taking a hit. Um, well, I'm starting the round getting chunked. Yeah, uh, imp, uh, throwing Axel's hitboxes. Uh, oh, yeah, just gonna... Yeah, and then get the... Put in yeah. with the wall stick confirm. Alright, get the OTG for the pressure, yep. Yep, and... I like Puddin's... the OTG. Yeah. It... I think I think Puddin's just kind of taking advantage of Imp's um, unfamiliarity in this matchup. I imagine so. Zato is definitely like very nebulous for new players. So. Yeah, and I think Imps had some experience playing this matchup against other Zatos, but um, Puddins has been playing in NKO for a while. They've definitely gotten a very strong uh, Zato, a very fundamental one, I'd say. Okay, Eddie takes the hit of Renson. There we go. Oh, but doesn't punish the fly with two S, and Eddie gets back. If you're new to Guilty Gear and don't know how Zato works, he's got his little buddy named Eddie there controlled on the screen. You'll see that little gauge appear above his super meter. When that gauge is emptied completely, Eddie has to disappear and basically re and wait until it refills before he can summon Eddie again. You can see right now he's just trying to control the spacing until Eddie gets back. Unfortunately, gets tagged during that time. And Zato's pretty weak when Eddie is not on the field. You know, that's the second time Imp has uh, DP'd those drills, too. Fair <laughs> Hawkins to invite, nice. Yeah, I, I think this is. I think we're seeing Imp a little bit unfamiliar with how the drills work and keeps throwing out hit hurt Yeah, boxes they're, they're the incredibly drill. active, so it's even yeah. worse than like plus R, where it's like incredibly active, so you have to make sure that you're not like accidentally sticking it out or if you're going to time it you need to make sure you time it to where like the active frames are basically about to run out or running out and I also see the threat of negative penalty yeah just about a half to go in now although not much meter currently so they're not going to lose a ton of meter get a knockdown yeah. ooh and almost the time needy. just 10 seconds left yeah both players are just kind of comfortable playing at that max range spacing almost it looks like I feel like Puddins wants to get in a little bit closer um, just kind of uncomfortable with how to get in past uh, Axel here. Yeah. Because well, Zato doesn't have a normal instant air dash, so he has no way to quickly like teleport in. So he's got to slowly move his yeah, way. Yeah, that, that, that's why he's slowly moving his way in with invite hell because it's controlling ground space rather than trying to force something in the air. Ooh, good use of meter. Gets the RC. Doesn't get the full combo, but resets. In front, yeah, re pulls Eddie back. It's looking like a pretty uh, clean 
jail from him so far. Well, we just just finding to stay alive. Puddins just hasn't quite able. Puddins has found their way in a couple of times, but just hasn't really been able to make those hits count. And Imp has been able just to just squeak out every single time. And unfortunately, against this character, you need to make sure all your hits count. Yeah, can't go ahead and can't let your opponent get out. We'll see if Puddins makes any adjustments. Definitely, I do like the use of Invite Hell to approach along the ground rather than trying to force something on the air. Just needs to make those, like, moments when you do get in count and melt Imp, like the first round where Imp got stunned. It's a round start, we'll see how this goes. Okay, I like the dash forward from Puddins at round start too, just to try to immediately get in as fast as you could, right? Yes, because otherwise you don't want to be fighting an uphill battle from the start. Yeah, I mean, kind of the best thing you can do against uh, Axel at round start is just dash forward and FD break, and you'll kind of immediately put him in a very awkward position where you're much closer than he's coming with. Nice getting the pressure going. Okay, that was a good burst from Imp as well. Nice, no Biru. OT OTG, so Imp can't do reversal actions. I do like, um, one thing I do want to note about Puddin' that's that I really like, this is my first time really seeing them play play, is I like the use of the OTGs with Zato to make your opponent, like, get the, like, good pressure without, like, while also messing up the wake-up timing, so they're not getting, like, actual, uh, defensive uh, options against Okazeme. Yeah. So, I mean, in, until you get Eddie out on the field, like, you can threaten, like, OTG, summon Eddie, Nobiru, so if they try to tech buttons at you, they'll probably just count get countered by the Nobiru, which is not a really good position. Are right, you gonna no. have to fly over? Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, nice XP and nice Nice, converse. that Ooh, tech that trap man. to reset that. I, I really liked that. That was nice. Let's go I really like I really liked the way Puddins plays, personally. Yeah. Puddins is another one of our NKO Zatos. Ooh, unfortunate burst. Bursting its up. Our Axel can be kind of tough when you're just starting out because he is hitting you. Ooh, good punish on the rinse and follow up with the drill. Good on M for blocking that sequence. Yeah, and immediately. So that him had to but still. I mean, bursting took away, away little Letty, kind of put puddings on the back foot. Yeah, now. Oh, yeah, it was actually a good decision by him. I agree. Now the life deficit is like so dramatic, and neither of them have burst. But the good both, block on the Don't third do. round, if there's a third round. I think the patience from M2, they're not like, they, they've kind of learned from their lessons from the first game where they're not pressing buttons into uh, Eddie and getting counter hit randomly. Yeah, and they're not also, they stopped trying to um, contest and invite hell with moves that extend their hurt box. So, yeah. if there's anything, if you can say anything, that both of these players are adapting to the other players' tendencies, which is good. That's Just the idea. Law, break the law into throw. Okay, gonna get one mix up out of this. Oh, it gets caught by the low, but no knockdown out of it. RC to has keep to, pressure. Yeah, unfortunately has to RC without Eddie to keep pressure. Oh, yeah, right. and tries to fuzzy away, but yeah, gets unfortunately, caught by Renson. Yeah, unfortunately you can't fuzzy jump out of 2H Renson. You have to keep holding block on that one. I'd say really the best thing to do against Axel if you're just starting out and not sure what to do, block Renson, dash forward, and FD break. And just that was a good anti with Eddie. Unfortunately, now Eddie's dead. Yeah, not a good situation to be in his auto, but he takes his turn back, gets Eddie back for it. Ooh, the Sparrowhawks sniped him on the land of recovery. Yeah, nice clean, nice clean Sparrowhawk. Box the overhead, get jump Yeah, Putin's getting better at blocking those 6 H's. Nice six B or nice conversion. At least when he's getting these like anti airs, they're leading into really high damage. It's very consistent I... with conversions off the anti airs. Ooh, an air, air dash is nice over throw. the invite hell. Gets punished with the throw. Yeah, can't jump. You're gonna get a Eddie up your yeah. butt. Nice and Puddin was aware and backed off to get the to wait Ooh, for tech nice buttons. Man. Sniped and killed Zato. Now Puddin's does have his burst. Oh, nice air throw. Air throw. Not Question is basically coming down. Oh no! Down. Can't even boost yeah. that. That's tragic. It wasn't FDing in the air. Yeah, it already committed to flight. That's tragic. I that was a feeling. good. That was a this good might set. not be a good matchup for uh, for Zato. Just that was my conjecture as well at the beginning, Rudy. Yeah. Probably not favorable for Zato. I guess. 
one now that Turtle's back, I guess one thing I'll say real quick before I go back on mute is um one thing I want to see from Imp. I, I saw a lot of TPing whenever the dr the invite hell came in. I think what you want to do there is you want to IB the invite hell, IB the drill, and then press 2K, and that destroys the puddle. So he can't actually summon Zato until after the drill. So DPing the drill is like you're, you're acting a for, you're acting one action too soon. You gotta wait and then action afterwards. But we're going to get more Zato versus Bike in here. I'm going to go ahead and mute myself so you guys do what you do best. Man, Top shit. For, <laughs> yeah, basically. I'm just here for all the Bike and huh? Yeah. Dang. We are, see, the, the Dizzy player that's usually in the bracket, I don't know if they're still in. So I'm like, all these characters are like characters I'm not super familiar with. And I'm like, shit. <laughs> Except for the I, last I matchup, I don't feel like I had a lot to offer. Yes. So I know this is a bad matchup for Zato. The thing is, I don't know if Corp knows why or how to make a bad yeah, matchup for Zato. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily always mean that the favorable matchup person, and sometimes it's favorable in like very esoteric particular ways, so. Mm -hmm. Or it's a, uh, it's like, hey, you know how you run your normal game plan? Forget all that. You have to do this ex instead, which is exactly what you hate about That's Dizzy versus Bedman, actually. <laughs> wow, that 2k. That was like very spicy. Right, Aerith throw. Let's go, Caitlyn. Yeah. I mean, Caitlyn's been showing us like they can they can do the air throws consistently. Sure, sure name themselves to Caitlyn Blizzard. All right, nice invite now. Ooh. Ooh, he tried. Ooh, that was dangerous. Oh, nice throw. Press some bonus. Okay. Yeah, Corp, uh, Corp doesn't like getting thrown mid pressure, so we're gonna have to work a little bit harder to get the throws. Drops mm. the Kuchinashi, but goes into the super. Yep, the classic. Okay. Yeah, nice. the hero burst from Caitlyn. Though, with Zato, it makes sense because uh, Caitlyn has like. Almost 75 meter. Ooh, nice over row. So, if the hero burst right? makes sense because if they get there to convert is. pressure, they'll take advantage of it, but it doesn't seem like that's happening yet. It seems like they're gonna hero burst and die with all their meter. Nice save jump from Cord. Ooh, good wire C into the far slash. Nice. That's gonna put Caitlyn at a severe disadvantage in round two. Yeah, no burst, especially. Yeah. Has Dying with a, your meter is like the worst thing you can do generally. Yeah, it's it's so important in this game. You have to make sure you use yeah. it like yeah. at least in some way. Corb, let's go, Corb, looping the same situation, which is, sounds like an insult, but it's not. All right, nice confirmation. Looping the fight. it, but also changing it in slight ways. Like that last way, that last attempt, that was a cross yeah. up, and I got hit. Yeah, yeah. and Caitlyn didn't have any meter because of the early aggression and wasn't able to represent uh, Blitz or any like defensive options. Not that Zelda has very many to represent, but you know. It's, doesn't have any to represent. I think Corp was playing really well there. Yeah, I like that uh, Corp. I, I talked to Corp recently about this. Like, if you're gonna pick, if you're gonna choose a zombie, I like full commit, even if it's a stupid idea, because you already chose a stupid idea for us. So you may as well just full commit to it. And oh, uh, nice. that's what nice they're they can do. Good conversion of the Tetsu Zonson. I love to see it. Well, you, I know all these, you, you know all these bike and move names. I'm like the Slam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. I, mean, I know a zombie and I know Suzeron. I, I know a zombie and Suzeron. By your <laughs> just, 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 and what about Tatami? Uh, and Tatami. Well, that's because and Tatami. Well, Tatami, yeah, and Tatami. You're, you're gonna hear it at least a little bit, just, just fighting naturally. Yeah, I really like what I'm. I like what I'm seeing from. Oh, they switched to Ram. This. I don't know if this trickier. is. I don't know any that much more favorable for Caitlyn, but we'll see. Uh, the the thing that makes it rough is like needing good defense to deal with Ram. You know. I but that, I that like, also yeah. is like assuming on the caveat that Ram gets going. True. But so we're really like, have to see how it plays out, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've only ever seen like the, the thing with Ram players is they usually like swing wildly from like they're not sure how to get Ram's game plan going, or they know extremely well how to do that, and you just have to work for it, right? There's not, not a you don't really see the progression uh, until recently with um. There goes my sanity. That's been the best case example I've had. Uh, where they've learned neutral over time and how to make their like sword placements yeah. count and really struggle. Yeah, Ram sort of has like a parabolic curve where like she's really good against new players because like they just mash the mash the like the strings. Mm -hmm. Then people learn how to deal with them, and then Ram players don't know how to get in, and then they're like, oh, and then they learn. Mm -hmm. So it's like a very like it's like a bell curve almost. Oh, doesn't know about the reset. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, drop, 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 drop swallowed us, Doesn't and then the, the Rokon. That's good. Oh, Caitlyn learned to jump out of that, so that's good. We've got some adaptation on the defense here from Caitlyn. That is cool. That's oh, what you do. Watch sure. 
that's gonna be the real killer. Is like how fast will yeah. be able to recognize like, oh, that's gonna happen consistently. Yeah, not only that, but like I don't know if he's like if he's trying to zombie those situations, but you definitely just like should not. <laughs> if you're uh, scared I don't, about the okay. I've actually seen him go for it that much, but he might just be trying and failing and, and parse like yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm just trying to like parse what his decisions on defense are. Nice. Like, you know, like for your technical players, nice conversion of the Tommy, but doesn't get the, the second second jump D. Yeah, doesn't get the full combo. Like mm -hmm. Oh nice! That was that was a good zombie. All right. All right. Um, Block the over. Mm. He needs to know. He needs to understand Rams like Gatling strings, and that you don't have to worry about a low after the second hit. So. I would like to at least say like, if if he's gonna go in the air versus Ram, like th yeah, do that. Throw out a button. Yeah. Ooh, that was yeah, good. Yeah, I, I He's definitely finding success with the uh, air, um, like with air conversions versus the versus Ramlethal right now. So I hope he sticks with that. And there he manages to take a round off of it. Yep. yep. Uh, or even calling out like so far we've seen Caitlyn. Whenever they take to the air, they're always pressing button. They're never like, like they quickly do it. See how fast like the instant it kind of gets close, which makes sense, you know. But at the same time, against biking, if you're in the air, especially after you wasted your single jump already, you kind of want to be like, I'll just chill. I don't want to hit air zombie and die. So I would like to see Corp be like, hey, I, I have this, you should be careful. Because like, that button is good, but it, it's an also a very easy hitbox for Fikin to just take advantage of. Yep. Good mix-up. Now we see, yep, keeps looping the same mix-up, which is working, that's good. And now Caitlyn's showing that they can deal with the change in the situation, and so then Corp's gonna have to find another method of, another layer to add another wrinkle to the, to the stack. Yeah. Question is, will he do it fast enough? Granted, yeah. he's like, G granted, I do say that as if Caitlyn's not the one on the back foot right now, but hey. Mm. So yeah, that, that's kind of uh, that's, also cool swords. Mike has a, a good, a good five P, so you can use that to the sword. Or yeah, that is an immediate burst from everyone okay. in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I like the, the TG burst is nice because even if he gets hit, he's not going to. Sure. Yeah. If she, if she it's, 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 it's not gonna. It's a, yeah. Like if you get hit again in any situation, that converts it's over anyways. So that, that was the right. Could've... That was the right way to burst. Nice. Oh, nice conversion. And Corp takes it. Corp showing a really strong play and nice, nice offense. I would say. Yeah, we saw a good adaption from Corp of the of the game. Like, cause I could obviously see like, okay, I don't consistently trust myself to block this scenario, so I'll just avoid the scenario. Maybe not consciously, but definitely like. Trying to avoid neutral a little bit more cautiously to not just end up on the knockdown. Good stuff from Corp. I'd love to see it. But Kaylin is doing pretty well so far as well. Uh, you know, getting to winner's quarterfinals. They always got a chance to go through the loser bracket. So who's next? Who's our next our next victims? Finally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dizzy versus Finn. My the matchup I know the best. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's my time to just uh, Let's take a okay. take a sip as uh, as Roz does does yeah. her job. It's okay, I was just proper eliminate, so <laughs> when I add the board chat when he sent when he sent me two. Oh, excellent choice. So tell taste. me, how's this go? What's what's the what's um, the game plan? I think the match was pretty even, maybe fight uh minorly favoring Sin. Um Dizzy wins the long range because hey, Sin real can't real hit you. Before we get started, sorry. Hey Ru I got some good news for you. What's up? You get to go fight a jam. Right? <laughs> you know this matchup, don't complain. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Oz, but if you want to no, give that good. matchup. Oh, no, that's fine. Um, all I was going to say was is that uh, Rudy asked before he left was how uh, I felt about this matchup, and I think Dizzy wins at the long range, because Sin can't, she can summon pretty much risk-free, and Sin has to approach. In the mid-range, basically in Beak Driver range, she loses because she loses the mid-range to Sin, and also she with Beak Driver, and you can't really IAD at Sin very effectively, because he doesn't really have a lot of like risky mid-range options that are like loose to IAD, and 6P will kill you, but also you can basically just beat the crap out of him when you get close to him, because of having summons, and also like, 2P having such range, and so Dizzy either wants to be really far away or really close, while Sin wants to be kind of be constantly in the middle. Right, I guess that kind of makes sense, because like, yes, like you said, Sin has the big buttons, and but can't really deal with Dizzy when it's there in. Yeah. From what we've seen of Elidith, they, they generally play a more runaway style Dizzy, so I'm kind of curious to see how that works out, um, um, and see if Sandy's able to like close the gap and play that mid-range. Yeah, typically I don't find that that kind of playstyle works very well against 
better players, so we'll see what happens. But the first thing they did was IAD jump K at a sin, so I mean... <laughs> Everything's working out so far, right? I mean, it's working out. I've definitely for, now, for, now, for now, for now, until um, uh, don't know about that mirror super, but it, it, it all works out until you get uh, you get six feet and punched in the mouth. Yeah, right. conversion, and, do you real OP. That you can jump out of that. Zenny recently too. They've really been improving really quickly. Um, I just kind of played them a couple weeks ago, and then played them again today, and they're really making some good adaptations. Yeah. Um, Ooh, the clash though. Sandy's gonna have to fight their way out here. Yeah, that I do like when she does 2D fish, you can beat driver it unless she spins a meter, so that was a good response. What I need to see from Zanny is um, being more confident in your like mash decisions and also just like not letting Dizzy do things that she can't do, like just raw summon like that. Like there's yeah. nothing to be scared of in the mid range, like you should be the aggressor. Well, there's a good ensnare dash to punish. It's like, like whiffing, like when you see 2D whiff, like there's like 30 frames of, reco of whiff recovery, like you can take your turn. Yeah. For example. Yeah, just blocking out the summons though. He got knocked yeah. down. Don't wanna challenge that. Both players kinda also sticking on their meter here, uh not really spending too much. Yeah, I understand in Lydia's case is why he's not using meters, because the Sin player is not like properly like showing like aggression, like in situations where like it's fair to show aggression and it's sort of just letting Lydia's get away with things that he shouldn't be getting away with. Well there's and the he's, like, super super yeah, no spinning fire. it on spinning it on uh, mirror super for some reason. No, that mirror super, I know a lot of supers did Guilty Gear like that, or a plus on block, but throwable. Is mirror super anything like that? It's throwable, but I don't think it's plus on block. It just knocks you really far back, and a lot okay. of people SD it, so then like you end up minus, but then people... You beam boozle them, basically. I don't think mirror super is that good, so... Okay. I also need to see um, 6P from... Because like you really can't play this matchup like IADing at Sin very often, and I need to see 6P represented from Sin to stop Olympus from just kind of like hot scotching around the map. I definitely agree. Then that was one thing I was talking to Zanny about is uh, definitely practice your uh, anti airs because um, obviously playing Jam against Sin like Sin has two buttons and one of them is 6P, so you really have to be comfortable with this. On one hand, Olympus is doing well in the sense that he's taking advantage of the fact that his opponent isn't like taking turns but on the other hand he needs to adapt if Zanny starts taking turns properly or if he doesn't then just keep doing what you're doing yeah there's the try like to, me the super jump jump pee. we need the i need to see 6p from sin at least once please <laughs> i i know uh, i believe it i know bull bash is not like while it's a big hitbox it's not really like anti-air because it has a large blind spot yeah so sometimes you just gotta get underneath your opponent and Give him the 6P yeah. and, like jump in. Also representing Fuzzy Jump. Okay, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I got the burst out of them. Yeah, and Diddy's reverse options are so poor. As we've seen Mirror Super 0 for 2 in this set. Yeah. And Dizzy's not really a character where you can kind of just like block her out. Especially a uh, Dizzy that understands how her pressure routes and where she can be. Yeah. See, the, 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 the reason, yes, because Elidius keeps rebuying pressure, but it's the problem is, is on Zanny not stopping him from rebuying pressure. Like, for example, I haven't seen, like, a 6P, like, like literally just held up forward to jump H and, like, didn't 6P. It has to be, like, that's, like, the main problem here, is, like, the, six, the lack of 6P. Because that's, like, one of his best starters, and, like, the risk-reward is so favoring him. And well, we saw it just there. Zanny did throw a 6P out on Elidus. They kind of air dash forward, air dash back, but then they went for the far slash when. Then just do uh, it again. <laughs> yeah, they they should have just 6 p again, yeah. Like, kind of pretend you're a Venom player. Just just kind of keep pressing 6P until it hits them, right? Yes, that's that Sin also has the same uh, symptom. You just keep just mash it and do it again. So I need him, I need him to be more confident in his anti airs. But it looks pretty ripped, yep, and that's game. Yeah, it should be as long as, yep, that's gonna be, uh, it's 2-0, I believe. Yep, Validius takes it. So, so going, Zanny definitely, I have to say, unfamiliar with the match. Yeah, also. definitely very much so, because wasn't, was just sort of letting Validius do whatever. Yeah, and unfortunately, so uh... If you watch the Zanny, the thing you need to focus on the most is, like, 6P'ing Dizzy, and then converting off of that, and then bullying her in the mid-range, and not letting her take her turns. Yep, so Zero Frog and Pepto Dismo are gonna come on into the stream lobby. Looks like Turlith is at least up around and gonna close out this next one. Which is good. I would bully him heavily if he lost to a jam at this point. Looks um, like he won. 
well, at least game one, so we'll see how this goes when, if he gets off the cab. Yeah, he Pepto, won. no, stop spectating the other match. Pepto, no. Pepto, no, I hope you didn't just shadow round them. <laughs> no, Faust player is ruining everything. Pepto, what are you doing? Pepto just left the lobby. I, I, guess, I bet he shadow round himself. Uh, all right, so it looks like that was the match. So, yeah. Thank you, Turlo. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Rudy. It's me. Hi. Yeah, well, I, we, we were saying that I was going to bully you heavily if you lost to a jam player. And um, I was also just going to bully you regardless if you I won or lost. Yeah. That's going to happen one way or another. If it's not you, it's Roz. If it's not Roz, it's the chat. If it's not the chat, it's my friends. At the very least, like, I had condition all applied to it. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, unfortunately, Pepto, I think, uh, Shadow Realm themselves, so they kind of had to rejoin the lobby here. Let's ah. see. No, no, Pepto, you're fine. It's all good. It happens. That's the, that's the expert experience, it, right? It, right? It, it, it's just a video game. It's just, why do you have to be mad? Just waiting on Zero to join the, so, the lobby. So, Zero Faraga. Zero Faraga plays. Is it Johnny or Biken? Biken. Biken, that's what I thought. Okay. So, it's Biken versus Faust. Rudy, yep. what do you okay. think? So, I'm not good at this matchup, so I'm a little biased. I think it's not that good for Biken, but not by a lot. It's just like she has a hard time getting in. Her neutral tools aren't that good without committing overly, you know? And Faust Compared is just to Faust, yeah. Yeah, Faust is just like, no, go away, go away. And even his fast, like, low committal buns are really good at stopping Viking. Also, he has 2P and 2K, which are both lows, so that really fucks with her. Uh, yeah, so, if, I mean, granted, though, Faust doesn't have a lot of defensive tools, so, you know, once they're in, he has gotta use his Blitz, his FD, his instant blocks, you know, he has to use that very well. Uh, but... He like he can make it pretty hard for Viking to work to get in because he's got the bombs, the items, the, the big pokes, two H, six H. If you do an Azami incorrectly, uh, and the Faust gets the just chance to just give you a raw six H, man, it's pain. Like no 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 RC required six H into going my way. That's like so much damage for no reason. It's true. Six H is the unblockable. Yep, it's true. Hit hit by that more times than I'd care to admit, but you know. It's, yeah, I uh, think I think that's true for everyone, especially if you live in the Midwest and you're familiar with Elven Shadow. Uh, so. Just works. He just makes it work. I will say real quick while we're waiting on Zero to join. Uh, congratulations, Starleth, to getting to winners finals of the intermediate bracket. So you don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about commentating until uh, we do the uh, finals of the intermediate bracket. So we're just waiting on Zero to join the lobby. I'm not sure if they're in the bathroom or something right now. I'm trying to get a hold of them now. If we don't hear back from him soon, we'll pull another match on here. That's nice. That's nice. I uh, I am happy to see uh, both the Bikens doing pretty decently from. Yeah, yeah, Warp's playing time. really well. So. I've uh, I've I mean we've been watching these guys well. Like they come in, they play pretty often, so it's good to see them like leveling up as they progress and grow as players. It's really neat. Definitely the best part about NKO TBH. Yeah, I. I do have to say I'm really happy that in KO is this because I've definitely seen a few of my locals, uh, notably uh, hydrophobic breed and lasagna, um, oh, just like improve like leaps and bounds from me breaking their breaking their fingers for years. So yeah, those, those guys um, are scary now. I mean, I'm not scared of them. <laughs> well, you're not scared of anyone. Though. <laughs> but I am really proud. That's not true. I am scared of my mother. But well. I'm not. I'm not scared of anybody in Guilty Gear. Tell, tell her to get yeah. Tell her to get on the setup. First to fight me. I mean, my dad's a Venom player. That's a fun fact. Really? Mm -hmm. Player is a stretch of the word. My dad's favorite Guilty Gear character is Venom. We take those. If he if he was gonna play, he'd try that one basically. As he would player. he would play Venom. Yeah. We used to mash on plus R when I was growing up. We're like I guess it was like I guess it was just like X and Core Plus at that time. So. Mm -hmm. So. Uh... My dad. Yeah, we're getting... Oh, we're queuing a different match, okay. Hey, well, Julie, tell him to get on stream. Yep, I know you can hear the So it's probably. Raven versus Axel. It's yeah, noodle, we're... Noodle, noodle Boys. <laughs> it really Hold is. on, give me one moment. This also seems like not great for Raven. Okay, right? I just joined 
had to jo- dip to another. Yell at Imp in the other call? Yeah. We're, we're still trying to find Zero. I haven't heard from them. So, going to go ahead and do a different stream match here. Imp Retro versus I. I didn't. So, we're going to have Axel versus Raven. Caitlin 2 over Roth happened, by the way. I'll go ahead and mark that one. Since it doesn't got... come up. Wait, Reed. You're in chat. Why Why did you get disqualified? What did you do? Reed asked me asked me to DQ him. Reed, what did you, what what do you what do you, what better do you have to do? You don't raid on Thursdays. I know your schedule now, Mister. We're putting the spotlight on you. You better have a good explanation for this when I see your your the green name in the chat. Okay. I'm sure it's actually a good reason, but. You can't just be inflammatory for the sake of being oh, inflammatory. But, but, <laughs> but, but, but I'm going to be inflammatory for the sake of being inflammatory. All right. And, and what had been going, all right, I'm hey. going to go ahead and mute myself and let y'all go over it. I'm commentating, Quinn. I can't read that Discord. It's true. You can't. That's not responsible. You can't I don't read ha- chat. I don't, uh, I don't actually have my multiple monitors right now, so I'm on oh. my laptop. I'm on my laptop in an Airbnb on Wi-Fi, y'all. Like, she's nice she's chatting, all right? She's doing her best. I mean, I, I'm, I'm literally bound by, by like, liter- most literal of sense, so... Oh, true, right. Well, anyway, okay. to the match okay. itself. <laughs> uh, I've never seen this match, to be honest. Like, literally, I don't think I've ever seen this play out once in my life. I don't think I've ever seen this either. Because, like, there's not enough Axel players and there's not enough Raven players, so the fact that we're getting either of them together... The, the stars have aligned. Um, I figure... Raven doesn't like this, because 5P is the same reason Eno doesn't like Axel for 5P, right? That's that's the no-no zone, but that's the zone that, that Raven wants to be in. Yeah, I can imagine that because of Raven's neutral, like, in the way it works, that Axel could probably mm. keep up pretty well. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't really see it going, like, heavily favoring either character, I guess. Yeah, I mean, once mm, because of that. It, yeah. It is a, a little bit quick, so if Axel does whiff and you know doesn't stop Raven, he can just get back in there. Yeah, and your friend seems to like to want to get in that ass, so. Oh yeah, he likes the aggro. No knockdown, unfortunately. Oh, nice, what? nice anti-air with close slash. There it is. That's mm-hmm. that's that's the reason. Oh no. Yep. Yep. Yeah, bomba. Good job on him getting the bomber. Combos? Uh, yeah. A decent burst point. Infant wasted meter and commit to a button. Not not terrible. Also was close enough to uh, uh, get the burst off instead of just losing it unsuccessfully, you know? Always a concern against this character. I am zoning. My zone. It is <laughs> I am zoning. It is me zoning, man. Uh, Alright. Nice. That was a... I actually don't know what Raven is supposed to do in those weird, like, in-between zones where, like... Just outside of hitting Axel reach, but inside of Axel's like, you know, make you block. Besides just like blocking back out and wait to get in again, right? Yeah, I guess you just like wait your turn, I suppose. In in a ooh, it's got to stop bursting those IEDs. That's uh, yeah, yeah. You do not want to burst Raven's IEDs. It's basically an auto burst bait. Yeah, all, all Raven's got to do to bait that burst is just hold back while he's pressing his buttons. What I want to know is, is will um. The Raven, I forgot the name because I don't know people's don't names, and they, their, their Steam names are not the same. Um, the Raven player, I want to see him kill Amp for, in the corner for doing jump back, jump age, watch. Oh, did jump K instead, but that's because he was air daring. But I want to see the I want to see someone kill him for that. It means to learn not to do double jump back, down, just send with a button. Mm-hmm. Try to force a turn. That's Work. Good the paintbrush stroke, as I like mm-hmm. to call it. I mean, every every button of Raven is a good button. <laughs> I mean, Raven they're good right. for reasons, right? Well, they're like have amazing range for their speed, and also like uh, like hurt ridiculous hurt boxes. I mean, just look at five H hurt box and then tell me that's fair, or hit box and tell me that's fair. Hmm. But yeah, for instance, yeah, you can't do that versus Raven because of because <laughs> of hurt box. Yeah, also just got like low profile. You really can't do uh, uh, the like windmill anyways against like characters that can low profile like that. Mm-hmm. Also, mean, uh, insane reach for the quality of the button. Good stuff on uh, on Aiden for making that adjustment though. Like, yes, it did. It did seem like Imp had it kind of kind of had the number down, but yeah, for real came back really well in round one. 
Let's see if we can make the town adjustment. Yep. Because that one's playing flame for us. Uh, uh, that was actually a good dash over the button. Oh. The jump and then land and button out of panic. Mm hmm. Raven has full meter, so he really needs to meter. use your meter, homie. At least FD these so you don't Yeah, kill. yeah, why, uh, needle wire C. Like, where's the needle wire C? Like, what are you trying to do? Or, uh, I would really like to see uh, chip damage. Okay, so I, I need I need a formal letter in writing from this Raven player, like, why you just died with full meter, and you didn't FD any of it, and you didn't try to needle wire C, not even once, in a range where you weren't going to get hit. Well, I, need, I, need, I need 500 words on my desk tomorrow morning. <laughs> To, to give some at least good ways that Ain could have used meter, uh, like you said, FD. Uh, Needle yeah. wire C or FD. Needle wire C. Yep. Or just wire C whenever, imp, as we saw, like whenever Imp's in the corner, Imp loves to double jump out. And, you yeah, know. and then anti air, thro exactly. air throw. Wire C air throw, wire C 6P, wire C because Raven 6P is good. Like just like any just anti air in general, like it would be nice to see. Close slash, like, he's an anti air with close slash and it would work because of the blind spot on. Um, I will say the one time I will forgive a jump in blitz attempt is when fighting Axel, you jump over Rensengeki and blitz the anti air follow up. That is the one time I will forgive it as well. That's a good use of meter in this matchup. I would also say, uh, I mean, this is head ass, but if you have a hundred meter, right, run up stance, YRC punish, because we have great buttons in the slowdown. Let me put it this way, Caitlin, because you said it in chat, and I believe in helping the people in chat too, and not just people in commentary. Using meter is mostly like. Dumping it on YRC to create unfavorable situations for the opponent. <laughs> it's better to use the meter and die. It's, it's better to love and loss than to have never loved at all. It's the great way of thinking about meter. Better to it's better to, to spend and die than to never spend at all. Ooh. And then to crank up the risk, Imp Retro. That was uh, I don't know if Imp fully recognized that why that happened, but you know, confirmed you know, that it almost. That yeah, it, no thoughts had empty. Yes, yes. If it works, it works, right? But not falling for the throw bait. That was a good conversion, I like that from uh, Raven Ooh, Man. That was a good DPS. <laughs> Raven Man. I mean, look, if you're not gonna put your name as your- if you're gonna put a meme Steam name, then I'm gonna call you Raven Man. Then M takes it. So that was 2-0 for M, right? Yeah, that was, in fact, 2-0 for M. Doing good uh, stuff, playing the zoner in a zoner-like okay. fashion. Good, good stuff. The only problem was is that like your your homie fam wasn't managing their meter correctly. Yeah, especially in this matchup, I feel like that might be a bit of a. a yeah, kind of because problem. like versus Axel, like I'm not the type of person to just like throw myself at someone. But if I have meter, you know, because like no man is worth throwing yourself at. Mm -hmm. But um, if I'm versus Axel, I will throw myself at him if I have meter because if I Y or C I or I D Y or C at him and then I kill him then versus like getting anti or the risk reward is so heavily in my favor yeah. and it's like like against axel it's like very strong so no i know not every character can do that because raven's id is like different but he has needle irc and you just died on full meter not even FDing. so that was the yeah. main reason that that didn't go well for him even though he was actually winning the damage race <laughs> but also like uh consider like how uh, with against Axel, like, it's very much a polarizing, you're either not in Axel's, like, zone, or you're up in his face, right? Like, yeah. he's a he's either exactly where he wants you to be, or you're exactly where he does not want you to be. And you yeah. have to make sure you stay there as much as humanly possible. You're either getting the goodies, or your goodies are getting got, yes. Mm -hmm. Which is why everyone is like, why is it got a DP? Let me stay in, God damn it, right? Mm, yep. Good on, uh, good on him for actually representing that option a few times. Yeah, that was a good match. I know I was going in on your Raven friend a little bit, but it was it was actually a good match. So no, for sure. Um, like, uh, for what's worth, like, Aiden hasn't been consistently playing gear from what I've seen. Uh, I, you know, on the friends list, I don't, I don't see it popping up all the time. So for what we've, what I've seen personally, like, I'm really impressed from what he's bought. Uh, would love to see him keep grinding and get better in this matchup. Yep. Show us what he's got next time. Bring the W. I see uh, Captain Riven, my good friend, homie fam Richard in the chat. Hello, Richard. Richard, did you know I'm your number one fan? Thank you for DMing me all of the jungle art. I appreciate you. You're a real one. If you didn't know before, now you do. Yeah, if, 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 this is a go on record that Riven and I are good homie fans. A PSO for everyone. Uh, I'm recovering from surgery, so I'm here commentating and talking shit because I can't do anything else. <laughs> so... Is our next match, I believe, Agnell and Zero. 
Ragnall and Zero. Ragnall is the Viking player, right? Uh, um, but I can correct that. Uh, oh. Ragnall, it's going to be Ragnall and um, Corp here. I ah, apologies. Um, unfortunately, I haven't heard from Zero. It's been a while, so we're going to have to DQ them. Um, unfortunate. So that's, what, unfortunate. that's unfortunate. Rats, but unfortunate. Um, oh no, there's one less Viking in the bracket. Whatever shall we do? <laughs> Bike and mirrors. Oh my god, I'm so upset. No, I'm actually, man, that actually is tragic. I'm sorry, Zero. <laughs> don't send me, don't, don't, don't like write me a long message in my DMs about how I hurt your self esteem, please. <laughs> uh, it, I mean, I'm with Waffles, we need more bikes. Make, make the Midwest a, a biking state. I mean, I would love that. I would, I would, my life would actually unironically be better if we took all the millions and replaced them with bikes. I love fighting bikes. That shit's, oh, I, that shit's I'm, bad you know for what? Me. I'm not, yeah, I'm not surprised. I thought you said it was pretty even. That's what you told me. I think the matchup is even, but that's assuming Viking players can actually like play the matchup correctly and block. That matchup is hard, alright? I mean, I agree. I, I think it slightly favors Dizzy. I didn't say it was even, even. Alright. I just said that like it's probably it's not favoring her, but it's probably not that great. Regardless, that isn't what we're watching. We're watching the yeah. Viking games. Once yeah. again, an NKO well, classic, I actually. I'm sure we'll end up actually, with all the Vikings statistically and Elidus in the bracket still in winners, I'm sure statistically we'll talk about the matchup, but... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, yeah. Uh, it's happened before, right? Um, uh, almost gets to conclusion. Oh. Goes for the Tatami, messes up, I think. That's fine. Tatami YRC. Safe option. Uh, for those of you who don't know how this matchup goes, it's silly. That's, that's all you need to know. It's, it's a mirror match, so of course it's silly. Gets the knockdown, or what does attack? I actually can't fully tell from that. That combo is not a very common route. Mash it. On the minus one. Corp up Brave Sword. Let's go. Let's go. No, doesn't get the Kuchinashi for the knockdown. It's alright. Got most of it. We'll get there. Yeah, if, I hope you guys like hearing Biken's voice, because she's gonna be very loud when she says these things. <laughs> oh, let's get the kill. Ah yes, oops all bikins. This is definitely oops all bikins. <laughs> that was a brave map. Especially with Biken when she's running up on you, like 6k? Man. I mean it worked out, but that doesn't mean it's a good choice. <laughs> oh, it's time on wars. Gets caught with the 2D, no conversion. Blocks the 5D. Kabari neutral. Gold nice. burst on the RKO. That was a good gold burst. The only problem is now you need to make the meter count, or you're gonna go into the third round with the meter. Well, as I say that, you know, get the, the zombie. So I mean, Corp is listening to me. He, he's channeling my 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 Angie into oh, trying that to was, win. That was actually really well timed design. Yeah, Corp's offense has been really like good. Like hey, since hey. definitely like the most notable one. Ah, uh, he's just barely missing that ender though. Whoa, the cross up! I didn't see that coming. At all. I got hit. I genuinely did not think that was gonna happen. That, that makes one of us. You expect the cross up. Yeah, you just FD. Hmm. Or, or just don't tech like that. <laughs> I, well, that's the thing. I'm not sure if like that was a, a delay tech or just a late tech. Well, if you delay tech, then it'll definitely hit cross up. If you want to guess. More like, um. No, you're right, because right now yeah. it's going to tech forward or backward. Yeah. Wow, I'm right. I'm so shocked and appalled. <laughs> Me being right, who would have thought? Alright, listen here. <laughs> What's the circle move that Biken has, huh? What's that? Uh, y Zonson? I think he only knew to tell me Seuss ran in Nick Yeah, I'm also, also was fucking with you. Guess you were you. wrong, huh? You're not wrong. Well, you did say you said the name of it! <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you listened. Listen, I didn't think you listened. Uh, I mean, I, I listened. That's true. I'm trying not <laughs> yeah. to seem like a fraud on stream. I'm, I'm trying so hard not to seem like a fraud on stream right now. Like, oh, you I'm don't just, even know. I'm just out and about. Everyone knows who I am. Look, I'm definitely not ordering DoorDash in the middle As of we the speak. middle commentator. Yep, definitely not about to order order something. More on topic, sorry, getting away from ourselves. Uh, Ragnall doing the same thing as before, switching to the soul after it yeah. like, didn't work out for them. Which is, you know, not a bad call. If you're more comfortable with something else and it works out for you, make it work. Hey, it's he like, gets the knockdown. The question is, is how familiar you is Korb with the. Soul matchup? Are you? Do you know? 
There's not a yeah. whole lot of soul mains we have in NKO, like actively in the Discord making uh, joining the lobbies, so I'm not sure. Yeah, the only one it was like we said earlier was Fawn and he's in Kentucky right now, so we have a we have a lot of the players in NKO who like sub soul for funsies, but not like, you know, I am a soul. Player. Yeah. But I think it's enough for Corp to maybe have some familiarity. Uh, regardless though, yeah. it's a bit of a tough matchup, just because like you know, soul is very yeah, mid game is very strong. Has good buttons. The damage conversion's high if you guess wrong. Mm -hmm. The the hard part for soul is like the offense when Viking is just like I'm just gonna block and not a zombie because then it's up to the soul to be like, when do I want to present a strike throw instead of just strike, right? Because that's the the beginner soul curse. I feel is like they want the big counter hits, but they want the neutral, which is not really uh, feasible if someone's on their point for neutral and defense. Yeah, and you can't force yourself in against people that are like not going to like take it, basically. And especially if uh, someone is good at sniffing out your throw attempts like Corp just did right there with the wake up 2k on the wild throw attempt, uh, you can get out pretty easy. The main thing Corp has to remember is uh, Gunflame with no YRC, completely at your mercy, because you have Suzerain. You, you should always make someone want to YRC Gunflame if he's in that range, because you just take the hit of Gunflame and then Rokan Soki, counter hit, big damage for free. Every time. Yeah, I guess the um, Kirai gay, uh, the concept of getting hit on purpose to create an actually more favorable situation for yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or if, if you want to be even more, like, Suzerain is a safer option because you don't have to, like, potentially mess up. The alternative option, which is run up Azami in Sakura, uh, you could do that. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could do it. Just, but you could do a lot of things. That doesn't mean you should, right? Yeah. I mean, he could call you a peepee -pee head and I'm going to do it, so... I'm, I don't think anyone can stop me from that. No. Oh, uh, it nice works out, it. Yeah, the... <laughs> mm. Ended up in a pretty even situation, I mean... There we go. Oh, uh, no kidding. Just uh, he, he's a little shook, because he's been on point with that. That's like the first time I've really seen him, like, majorly drop something like that. It's a... So, kind of like, comboing into counter hit Roken, so it can be a bit tricky. Just because, like, if you're not expecting it to actually work, you might just uh, take that adjustment. You need the confidence, like, I'm gonna do this regardless if it hits or not. Instead of, like, trying to visually confirm it. Because if you try to visually confirm it, and if you're not super familiar with it, you can have what you have here, where Corp is, like, dropping it. That's why it's a. Uh, ooh, nice wild throw. It's typically recommended, like, if you're not gonna, like, try to go for Kavari, just go for the run up far slash JSD. Oh. Yep. Oh no. Corpse having to deal with the classic soul experience. Of yeah, he's definitely not familiar with dealing with wild boy soul, and mm -hmm. it's showing really bad. You're not gonna. It's your... a I do like the Tatami to stuff the advancing approach. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried. He tried again. It just didn't work for him. Yeah, the the problem is um, Baikon doesn't really ever want to do like grounded Tatami because like you know she has to recover those frames. She wants yeah, to do the air back dash. Yeah. Uh, that that tracks. Or at least, like, neutral jump falling to Tommy. That works too. Ooh, nice. Good conversion. I... Th so this is gonna be, like, a thing, is that Ragnall's gotta call out all these run-up Oki attempts that Corp is doing, because none of them are safe to DP or any reversal at all. They're normally not bad options for, uh, for the Viking player, but if the soul just doesn't care. Like, Ragnall has shown that they kinda don't sometimes on his Oki. Like, he'll just yeah. like... He needs to. The big thing Corb needs to do is like adapt to the choices that uh, the soul player is making on defense, mm -hmm. because he's just letting him get away. And the soul player is like, rightly so, recognizing that Corb is not really making the adjustment and just going to keep doing it so he doesn't, and then win in neutral. Yeah, with... um, this is a the hard hump I feel of, of like being to learn your characters. Like, how do I contain the wild boys? Because if you don't know how to contain the wild boys, they will continue to be wild, and then you'll never stop them from doing that. Here's the secret, though. Like, even when you learn to contain the wild boys, they'll still be wild boys. They'll just For lose. Sure. The difference is that you'll win. <laughs> that, no, that's the thing, right? Like, they won't stop, but you'll have good reasons to show them, like, hey, you're being stupid, and I'm going to kill you for it. And Biken especially can do that when you mess up. Like, if Soul DPs and after a safe jump on a Biken, and he doesn't like DTRC, he should die. Like, period. <laughs> He should be dead, because you get a free 6H combo. Uh, if you have meter, you can RC into even more damage. If it's in the corner, you're just dead. If you ever DP out of the corner, and, like, Viking still has the cornered, like, spacing, you're, you're, you're gonna get cooked. Well, you should get cooked, rather. That's, it's up to the Viking player, of course. 
But anyway, into losers, Puns vs. Scorp. Uh, I think these two to play it already, no? Or is it someone else I'm thinking of? There's so many Vikings and so many. There's so yeah. this, match, this matchup has happened so many times. What Hell what can? Yes. Yeah, would you like to reiterate anything? Any like general notes about this? Uh, you wanna basically not get command thrown as much as humanly possible because that's what the Zato, knowing the matchup, will want to do. Because if he does the drill, you're just gonna zombie it. Or oh, the matchup thing. We watched Core play against Caitlyn. And then ah, that, that's what yeah, it was. that's what it was because I remember talking about you saying that Corb, uh, this matchup is favors Viken, but you didn't know Corb knew why, and Corb yeah. won. So, I mean, maybe he does know why. Uh, well, that's one. Like you can uh, you can always a zombie drill. It's not really true meeting. It has some startup time, right? Yeah. Uh, but then there's also uh, using Eddie for what was it? Uh, I forget the name. The buzz saw. If you, uh, if you use a zombie during that, it's a free get out. But you have to do Morikomi and nothing else. Because if you do anything else, then, you know, Eddie just gets rock and take the hit from Mr. Zato over there. Sad time I don't know, Amma. Why do we have so many Zato versus Bikins? Mr. Racket Seeder. I mean, he's just trying to get them all to weed each other out. Yeah, really. That's what it is. Oh, that was... I've never actually seen that, where, like, Eddie took the 2S hit behind Zato. I didn't know he could do that, actually. <sighs> what a crush. This is big damage on the next hit. Oh! Oh! Oh, <laughs> no! You gotta block that So much damage, good lord. I blinked. Yeah. God damn. It, it didn't help, like... The, the safe jump was a thing, for sure, but Puns also didn't block after the combo dropped and Corp went for Roken Sogi. And I think he might have been trying to tech and then got counter hit by it. Which is a uh, basically certain death. Nice blocks. Good 2 for Puns. Yeah, you can't a zombie that immediately. You have to take the second hit. It's a 2 hitter. It uh, It's not a great 6p, but it is a 2 hitter and it's got that going for it. Of those clash scenarios. Combo. Uh, uh, nice. Knockdown. No! Use your tatami! You got a giant mat that makes you plus like a billion! No burst in the corner versus Zato. Not a great position to be. Not a zombing the, the buzzsaw either, so we're just stuck in the vortex. Yep. This has been a very explosive. Interesting decision from Clins on that. I oh, probably thought they could have killed, I bet. Maybe like combo off of it. Needs to practice that if they want to go for a kill combo off throw, I think, though. Putin's showing off really strong, Oki, and also I really liked how Putin was approaching his pressure earlier and like tried to get in to beat, uh, to play against Amp. And so I like to see that. Um, something that people need to talk about is like the importance of consistency. It's like one thing if. You like or do something really cool like like once or twice, but it's about how often you do cool things versus how often you don't do cool things, correct things, whatever you want to call it. So I'm really happy to see the put is showing consistency with their pressure. That is gold a, star. Yeah, that is a huge. Give them a little sure. scratch and sniff sticker. <laughs> Those little scratch and sniff like. Uh... Cool. I think Corp recognizes that he's got to kill Eddie. I don't know if he recognizes he's got to hit those puddles to make it a little bit harder for Zyla to do his thing. Nice. Oh, yeah, can't get it from that spacing. I'm plus there, buddy. What are you doing? 6 k I like the soccer attempt to see if you can catch him uh, mashing, but I don't think Puddins has really presented that option. Unblockable. Or hard to blockable, if you want to be technical. Hard. Yes. We love being pedantic in NKO. Yep, sure do. Ramp start JSD. Let's see open. And nice to check the fly. Alright. I want to see how Corp will do this. Oh, nice grab. Double nice claw. Card. Yeah, would have liked to... Oh, nice. Know, I'm not sure if uh, Quinn's is just kind of paralyzed by the options that Corp had. But, you know, if you see it with Kabari, you could always drill. It's back to your turn. Oh, good blitz. Nice blitz. Oh, oh, oh he tried to dead man's hand. Oh, no. But I don't think he can do that when grab. just, like, still, uh... You know, you're, you can't throw people. Yeah, you can't throw people when they're in blitz or deck like that. Ooh. And he was. Tried to not, get too spicy. I don't think he was in range either. 
you, you stuck your hand into the little lion statue and it bit you. Oh no. This is always the first thing I tell people. Let's go. Oh, oh. oh. I mean, didn't, didn't he need to do 6 H to make that work? Uh, you could have. It would have been a tighter timing. Uh, it's better to just try and go for the 5 H, to be honest, because it's easier. Word. But the main thing there was like the spacing was just a little bit off, which is, you know, it happens. Yeah, that's why I suggested 6 H because it moves you forward, right? So. Uh, not that. I actually don't think it does. I think it keeps you in place. Word. I'm learning. I'm learning along with everybody else. Yep. Eddie, uh, <laughs> Mr. President thing, Zato, you know, the classic. RKO yep. attempts. That is the best time to try, at least for an yep. RKO. And is a put in, takes it pretty convincingly. Yeah. Gotta, like gotta get more matches. Wednesday. Corp's gonna get more matches against that Zato. Learn why it sucks for him. Mm. But, uh, that is probably the only instance you maybe want to go for an RKO, is when you actually hit someone with the Kabari Raw. Because, uh, even if they stagger, like if they get out of the stagger, you know, some people have a hard time like getting out and then jumping or pressing a button. Good job from Puddins. Good show all around today, Gold Star. Yeah, Puddins was doing really well. Corp did Definitely really well do too, though. Yeah, uh, yeah I agree. Yeah. Yep, doing both really doing really well at Dumb Skull Knockouts. <laughs> uh, you're funny. I like that. Thank you. That's why all the boys love me. Mm, it's true. This I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. Speaking of, I'm sure Gus is in the chat somewhere <laughs> listening to this. I'm so sorry, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm embarrassing you <laughs> in front of everybody. Um. All right. So we got Raven. Birdman. Oh. A good old, good old Birdman. Bird up, and then Zato again. Dang. Different. Like a different Zato with a different rate. Good lord. So many. I mean, the good. thing I love, like the verse, like. The variety that we have, right? It's really yeah. Cool. Oh, no, 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 Caitlin. We do not do that self-depreciating humor here. I said, I said a lot of nice things about you in the chat, Caitlin. So I don't want to hear that. I said you should be rename yourself to Caitlin Blizzard. I remember saying that. We do not self-depreciate. Got... NKO is not for self-depreciation. We do not uh, entertain that. Uh, you're doing just fine. It's true. Listen, if you can air throw, you're already a step ahead of a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Tell them the truth. That is so true. Do you know how long it took me to get good at air throws? When I, yeah, that was the thing that impressed me about Caitlyn. When they did like two air throws, I was like, God damn! Like, let's go, work! And Same thing with lasagna. That's when like, stood lasagna out to the rest of us in the kill. I was like, man, this guy can really air throw. Holy crap. Yeah, I mean, it's because I've like yelled at him 20 billion times before he joined the game. <laughs> like, air throw, you fucking dweeb. Sorry, not the point. The match happening, though. Uh, a yeah. bit even on health and just uh, kind of checking him on the knowledge check of, like, yeah. hey, I'm, I'm Zada. Yes, it's definitely just like, definitely people swinging at each other currently, which is why I haven't bothered to you know, play in. You know what's funny? The first time we've just seen Zato's like, standing overhead was from Kaelin, and it didn't even hit. I just realized, like, <laughs> we haven't seen that all night. <laughs> or I haven't seen, I don't know if you guys saw uh, it. And, yeah, no, she, she definitely used it to close out a round when you were busy, so. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah, it's a great oh, Nice, it's nice it's reflect busy. on, um, oh. Nicole. Oh no! Oh. Ka Kaelin with the new... That was a good burst. Uh, that's a nice delay. Yeah. Because otherwise, that would have been sad. Yeah, just that trying to zone with uh, timeout. Yeah, there wasn't really much your homie fam could do there. Yeah, that is a rough one. But that, I mean, that was down to the wire in the first round of the first game, right? So we got, we got a good one. I don't know if uh, Zato has the best tools besides Nobu to stop, you know, Raven doing his thing. Yeah, I mean, if you needle from super far away, you can clearly reflect it, but... Your homie fam keep match- yeah, 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 your homie fam be a masher on the drill. Yeah, everyone, you gotta respect the drill. It's not- it's not as busted as it used to be, but it's still very good. Alright, let's see, will your friend die on 75 meter? Let's find out. Please spend a meter. At least, like, something. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Everybody's like, what's going on? <laughs> if he could have made it back up there to continue combo. Oh, nice. Uh, nice pop up. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know if that knockdowns. Which oh, oh, Shark oh. Super. Shark. Great uh. white. Yeah. And Caitlyn takes first round. Let's go, Caitlyn. Caitlyn yeah. Blizzard. I'm renaming you. It's Caitlyn Blizzard. Let's go, Caitlyn Blizzard. Congratulations on the new name. You'll be rebranding your Steam by the end of the night. Uh, enjoy it. So, 
I don't really know, like, I mean, Ain's gotta show, like, patience more on the defense side. Like, he just yeah, has to against Dachi. Yeah, you did like, ate way too many drills for, like, no reason. Definitely I'd just wait for Eddie to die and then get your way out or just like kill Eddie and then get take your take your uh take what you can get. Gold burst. Ugh. Now is he gonna spin the meter? Alright, let's go. That was a good burst and let me get the extra excitement. I'm really glad he didn't make my blood pressure spike by at least using half the meter immediately. <laughs> oh yeah, probably... yeah. The, that is one thing about this match that I think Zato has and I mentioned this earlier. Putting the hugely active drill out when he dashes is probably good because it's like Invite Hell has such active frames, which is a really good answer to Raven Dash from the ground. Mm. So Definitely a really good answer to ground approaches and I see it that it's it's shredding your homie fam. Yeah. Like fresh cheese. I would like to see, like, we're seeing a lot of uh, basic, you know, B&B &B for pressure and stuff, which isn't bad, but like, Great now Kaelin, Kaelin's just like, alright, I'm just gonna chill and block him. Because, you know, the scratch is the ender, there's not much else he can do there. would like yep. to see at least the, the threat of the command grab every once in a while. And then Eddie's dead, so, but your friend is down on life. Yep, and then, see, as I said, the Vine Hulls get also good against air, like, low, like, close, like, dash, air dash, because it also stops him from doing that, so. Is that one is where again? you think uh, like Raven wants to do like two H to use the lack of hurt box to just go straight through it? Um, possibly. I would have to see the option presented. I just, I am just calling what I see on the screen. Mm -hmm. Calls him as he sees him. Yep. And I sees and I sees it. I sees this invite hell shredding your friend like fresh cheese. Hey, hey. Oh, didn't hold back. Great okay, white. Mm, got popped up. Sea world. Didn't block the overhead. Oh, it, it's not. Ooh, ooh. The drill <laughs> means it's your time to block. I really like what I'm seeing from Caitlyn Blizzard. Yes, that's a thing now. I like what I'm seeing from Caitlyn Blizzard. It's Boom Cube. Hey, Boom Cube. Welcome to the chat, homie fam. Also, my not homie fam is the one coming out. Let's go, Ross, homie fam. Good stuff from me again this far. Loser quarters, pretty good, pretty good, uh, first try. It's all good. Don't, you gave don't it, you gave it, you gave it your best shot, homie fam. This is let, a hard matchup, I imagine, if you don't know how this character works. Yes, let it be said, it, it, I will say something controversial yet brave. Oh. The show entering bracket, and just trying and showing out, is better than being a coward and not trying at all. Wow. It is better to love than lost, than it is to never love at all. I, I, this is the running theme of the night. Apparently, that's the moral of tonight. Yep, that's yeah. the, uh, the the little, the little the moral of the story. Zato mirrors. Sense. We're getting Zato mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, man. Oh god. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't know how. This is another thing I've never seen. In my uh, life. Amadeus was like, sure you could commentate, because that way my my ass doesn't have to commentate. Oh, they're playing around with all because they don't want to do the mirror. I respect. I respect that for Caitlyn Blizzard. That's actually. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. They, they said they won't do the mirror. Yeah, I don't blame anyone on that. Avoiding the mirror is sometimes better. Just play like no, like your character. Ironically, usually doesn't have the tools to deal with your own stuff. Yep, I agree. Which is a weird like instance, but you know, uh, it is how it is. I don't like biking mirrors. I will do biking mirrors. I don't. I don't like doing them in tournament though, because that means like, hey, we're kind of both gambling, huh? <laughs> Regardless, uh... Okay, people people trying to find a hit. Mm, gotten a few stray hits from both sides, but no one's really oh. capitalized on anything. Oh, got it by the overhead. put in burst. I guess it's... The way this matchup is gonna go is really depends on how Puddins is able to handle basic ram pressure. Like... He's a... Uh, he's a little familiar with the how ram works because of their because of sanity. Yeah, because of sanity, yeah. I would imagine that... I, I want to believe, let's put it that way, like X-Files, I want to believe that Puddin can defend against the layer 1 and we'll see something past layer 1. But, you know, we shall see. Especially, you can see, like, Quinz is like, you want to be in the air. I know you want to be there. I'm going to do Nobaru over and over again. Because that, even on single hit, Nobaru counter hit is, like, a big chunk. Would like to see uh, a little bit more of the drill, or the, the buzzsaw to, like, force her to block, right? And... Go check those sitting. You know, tech buttons, buttons. <laughs> Waking up and choosing tech. violence. <laughs> I mean, they got him put right back on the ground. All right, no bureau. Trying to wall. Oh, got the there hit. Go. Uh, there's Good the burst. 
No oh, too. Oh, ooh, ooh, he flung himself right into the sword. I girl, homie girl, homie fam girl, I don't know about that girl. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I think in that scenario, uh, there's a time to be aggressive. And while you have the meter, um, with that much le like health against a character like Ram, you might want to just uh, yeah, you're readjust fine. your engage. They were going a little too hard in the paint, as one might say. That's true. We just spend a meter at him, huh? There you go, block it. Ram's turn is not over. I actually was. That's probably the most interesting thing I've seen about Kaelin is like when people block the overhead, she kind of just disengages completely. Which isn't a bad thing entirely. Yeah, it's, it's common for a lot of Ram players to do that to get their swords back. Yeah, we're oh, too late. Okay, that doesn't and, make sense. Yeah, because I know Armando, the arm, uh, does that a lot. Probably used to people just IBing the overhead too, since normally yeah. it is plus, but if you IB it, it is a turn ender. No brew doing no brew things. Yep, yeah, good use of the summon to stall to change alter air momentum Need from Caitlyn Blizzard. From Caitlyn yeah. Blizzard. Yeah. Not block. It. Stop jumping. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Come oh, down. no! So, so, so lucky for Caitlyn because they didn't have meter to begin with, but it'd be like that. Just shake it off. Those of you who don't know what they just saw, uh, Caitlyn may have accidentally, I'm hoping, <laughs> triggered IK mode. I imagine it would be accidental, come on now. Y'all ever, ever just activate IK mode while you're getting hit in the combo? Look, some people will just be mashing and hit stun. That's the worst kind of person. If you mash and hit stun, I don't like you. <laughs> Let that be on record in Twitch.tv. If you mash and hit stun, I don't like you. You're not invited to my first party. Well, if it's in the air, it's tech. Uh, that's, that's, mm, yeah, that's a little bit different. That's not the same I, thing I get if you know it. No, that's true. Oh, again, I, I mean, my brain was like, I assume you mean like, grounded, because you know. Yes. A, a standing reset is a thing. Nice oh, anti-air. Yeah, that was a great 6P. Rare footage is not his 6P actually working. <laughs> Puddins is really good at using the 6P when it actually works. Good, um, yeah. character familiarity from good old Puddin Pop. Yeah, now, there is also, uh, the, the enemy opponent has to realize, like, okay, I'm being a bit too predictable with these approaches then, right? Yeah, Kate nice makes the adjustment. Ram combo? No, unfortunately. Oh, attacked, but... Good it's, combo true. On, uh, it's true, Lexi, I don't like I don't like G G GG players, not a single one. <laughs> Ignore the fact that I'm dating one, but hey. <laughs> Listen, the exception is not the consistent. It's average, true. Right? Gus, Gus is definitely in a good. Um. Out loses George. Ooh, getting clipped by the swords. I Down support team block boys and block girls. And block non binaries, block in Are we still on game one? Jesus. Yeah, this game, they've, all the moments on matches have gone to time. Alright, and Caitlyn takes it. Game one. I, I was like, okay, man, we're down to the wire. Who's next hit's gonna be it? And then I look over. Zero. I'm like, what? what? Wow. What? Good job. I mean, that's a that's a, in my opinion a great showing of both of them from not just like yeah the big damage. They're system. both playing very well. It just Caitlyn Blizzard has the edge. We just need to see if they'll keep being Caitlyn Blizzard or they'll turn into Caitlyn Sleet. Wow, you were ready for that too, huh? I thought about it like two games ago. Yeah. <laughs> like I need a I need a backup, need a backup in case the stuff's doing poorly. But, uh, but I haven't been able to use it yet because Caitlyn Blizzard is Caitlyn Blizzarding, raging Blizzard. Just, I would like to see uh, a little bit more of the strike throw game that Zato has once like they're blocking Eddie, right? The command grab has always got to be a threat. Nice jump D to answer the air dirt. Let's go st strong, strong get the F off me start from Caitlyn Blizzard. Good job, kill the sword. Yes, killing the sword is definitely important with low risk options. Good, let's go. We, we stand actually doing that. We stand actually knowing matchups in this house. So, alright. Block Caitlyn. the overhead puns, no! Caitlyn Blizzard with the overhead in the steel chair. <laughs> there is no, there is no mix-up die. Got it, yeah. Now, uh, let's no! go. <laughs> I, I, remember when I said I wanted to believe? I don't believe anymore. <laughs> I don't believe no more. Puns, you gotta block your dome! Yeah, bruh, wear a bicycle helmet. Alright, there's, the, there's, there's a trick. Even if you're on hit, like, Ram has a preset thing, like, list of things she can do. Yeah, after the first, after you see if she starts with P or K, if you see the first one, you'll know if it's a low or a high. Because, like, that by that point, because of the starter and the second hit, you'll know that you don't worry about the low. And I don't think she can delay into the low, usually, no. anyway. So, yeah, no. it's either gonna be an overhead or she's gonna finish the combo. So just block high after you yeah. see those two normals. Or that sequence. Yeah, there's, there's no reason to try and fuzzy. There is nothing too fuzzy. 
And if she just stops, then, you know, it's your turn. Flynn's has made that slight adjustment, getting uh, a big chunk of damage on Kaylin. Let's see if we can keep it going. I, 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 uh, Alright, modern day Socrates in the chat. Yes, you can actually know matchups. Good killing those swords. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, good, good PRC to make that safe. A bit expensive, but you know, you tried something and it didn't work. You'd rather be safe than dead. It's okay. Sometimes you gotta spend the money, it's worth it. I would, uh, like to see- I mean, Caitlyn's work, working out for- Like, the way she's playing neutral work is working out for her, but it is making her at a huge meter death. Yeah, she's not winning- yeah, it, she's struggling really hard to, like, make something happen, and now that the meter's down. Eddie's dead, but, yeah, won the throw mash. I, I saw you mash her. <laughs> throw mashing mash her. Especially Hello, Bonnelby! We, like, we, we, we have- we have- we have- we have noted, uh, Axel player Bonnelby. Bonnelby oh. in the chat. Hello. My homegirl Bonnelby. But, uh, like, Ram already has a hard time gaining meter to begin with, because she needs to hit swords or, like, gain meter, or, like, just, you know, the regular ways that you do moving forward, attacking. But, uh, if you're at, like, negative penalty, you're gonna be losing any attention pulse you gain doing that, to begin with. Ooh! Almost got the command throw. Oh, that was a nice Abare! We, we finally see Caitlyn Blizzard respect or adding, uh, or adding Abare, uh, to be into the rotation. I'm nice curious just, to, uh, to know why, like, we haven't really seen Friends do consistently the uh, the buzz saw. If there's a reason, the slide, the meaty slide to catch Whoa. the teleport into the look. Look, Kalen Blizzard is living in 3008, and we are simply 2000 and late. That's all I have to say. Kalen Blizzard, Kalen Blizzard is actually a savant. Close. Almost dodged the drill. Oh, party time. Two H. All right, trying to jump out. Nice. So, no matter what, Kaelin's not gonna get their first back in time. Unless they somehow, somehow, eat it out. I mean, yeah, but alright, 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 last chance, everyone. The question is, oop. Oh! Oh, uh, yep, yep, mash into... No, not again! Put in snow. The throw! Oh my god! The confidence. Caitlyn Blizzard. Caitlyn Blizzard. Presenting the confidence. You're not gonna press a button or fuzzy. You're just gonna sit there and take this throw. I just want to point out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow up Caitlyn a little bit here. Caitlyn was saying they were really like nervous about this tournament and saying I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna. This is like one of my first tournaments. I think I might end up going 0 and 2. Uh, I, I'm gonna enjoy myself. But I'll probably just go 0 and 2. And now you just got the losers final. Oh and 2. Uh, yeah, Caitlyn, Caitlyn Blizzard. I'm telling you. Oh, I've, two. I've been done call. Look, I've been done called it. I mean, like, I mean, Raza already said, like herself, right? Look, you don't know unless you enter and try your best, and you did, and you're. <laughs> it fine. is better. It is better to go zero and two right. and to have fought than to have never fought at all. I'm gonna say, Rudy, you're welcome to stay on the mic. However, uh... I believe. <sighs> You have winners finals of the intermediate bracket to attend to currently. So why don't you march on up to that cab there, sit down, and look pretty. I do not believe in my ability to commentate well, besides just like me being like, oh, I fucked up, right? Like, I don't think that's very engaging. Yeah, I don't point. think anyone's expecting you to commentate while also playing. If you would like to mute yourself and also deafen yourself from the Discord call, I understand completely. However, do your best. Let's get this uh, winner's final okay. for the intermediate prize. Okay, okay. Oh, Hydro Hydro Hydrophobic brought up Kalisto. Kalisto plays Catalina. That's not playing fighting games, so that doesn't That's count. True. Also, also, that I don't, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but people are different. I know, I know. Surprise! I don't yeah. believe you. Yeah, look, everyone <laughs> should believe that. You literally see me and Rudy right next to each other, and we're nothing alike. That's true. <laughs> anyway, main point being, I will deafen myself uh, and you, and right. do Bye, Rudy. Good Bye. luck. Winner's I final love you three too. out of five. Let's get it. Caitlyn Blizzard, I love you too. I'm I'm here because I love talking shit and telling my homie and guessing at my homie simultaneously. It's like a, it's a seesaw. So we see Terrell the Monokaza. So we're switching to intermediate, okay? So we've got a PP head versus someone that's not a PP head, allegedly. I don't know. Amadeus is Monokaza a PP head? I mean, they play Slayer. Okay, so we've got two PP heads on the stream. We've got the senior PP character. head. We're gonna we're gonna take we're gonna actually count how many times we see them block is what we're going to see. Okay. Now here's the thing. I, I know both of these characters I think just hate this matchup. Because obviously Viking 
because nobody kinda, wants the <laughs> well, like, zombie. Slayer, Slayer has an amazing command throw, but also Biken can very easily zombie a lot of Slayer's thing. Both these characters do too much damage, like just realistically, just a lot of damage. Yeah, but this is a very explosive matchup where no one wants to block, and both characters are really good at not blocking. And the other, and it's like the two Spider-Mans pointing fingers at each other. Like, right. And Mondo yeah. Cosmo has. I've been playing them a lot recently. They've been getting more and more comfortable representing the BDC and not being mindless about it too. Like they'll they'll sometimes just do a raw back dash, or even you know forward dash if they think you're going to try to bait the BDC and not do a medium. Charles finds himself in the corner here and gets bit for his trouble. But oh man, Turtle is so good at mashing out of stagger. It's true. Piano keys. I need to ask Rudy if he played piano or plays piano. He very well may have because he is able to mash out of that stagger pretty consistently. Well, I need him to start making music and stop getting hit. <laughs> All right, but 100 meter, good. Wake up, super. I can RC this. Who cares? Love map. Oh, Insidio Johnson. That would have been yeah. nice if it killed five head, but yeah. it was a good. But it was a good idea. It worked. Well, had to burn 100 meter just to get to the point where you didn't die from wake up. Super. Yeah. Now he's zoning. Now he's zoning, now he's zoning yeah. Slayer out so he can get the tension pulse back, which he's yeah. done successfully. Good job, Rudy. That was smart. And, and then oh, uh, he didn't. Uh, Mondo didn't see the bullet get wire seed. Oh no! I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I died to that. I thought he wire seed a little. I early. also would have gotten hit by that, admittedly. So I and I would have called. And I would have called Rudy. I would have called Rudy a scrub to his face, though. <laughs> nice low tech on the teaser on. Nice yeah. back dash. All good choices from everyone so far that I've yeah. seen. Gets the dust loop, gets the knockdown. 6k, that is throw involved with the uh, BDC bite. Oh, and Azami works both ways, but drop your IAD to Tommy. Unfortunately, that's a lot of damage left on the table. You're just being patient, though, here. Not uh, not over aggressing. Has to RC that just to make the save. Uh, a very. I think that uh, close slash might have been a mistake. Ended up burning all your meters. Dang, Ru Rudy, just going crazy. Rudy just going crazy. I mean, I've been in these situations. Oh, let's where... go! The tech, the throw tech, or the anti, the air tear throw for the air tech. Sometimes you get into these situations where you accidentally burn all of your meter, and your opponent has a ton of meter, but you have them in the corner. And kind of one of the best things to do then is just go in and just try your best just to really oppress them, because you have no meter. You really don't want to let it get back to neutral, because then you're really hosed. So this is three out of five, correct? Correct. So this is all going to be three out of five for both tournaments from here on out. We are in finals for both tournaments. Sweet. I feel like I'm seeing a biking that is on their way to mastering out stupiding people. I that is a great description, Yuzu, especially in this matchup. I uh, I definitely feel like this is definitely some air quote galaxy brain like you type matchup, but I will say that the offense and defensive choices from both players so far have been pretty good. I'm really seeing Rudy's like offense very like come together very lively. So happy yeah. to step everyone. Ooh, and then, man, Rudy, I, I finally said something nice about you and then you got counter hit by it's late. Man, why are you making him look like a fool on commentary? You, you, you did say Rudy's offense was getting stronger. No, it's not. true, but he still makes you look like a dumbass when I say nice things about him. Rudy has definitely been working on not automatically routing to the Vikings 2H, um, that big, low, sweeping sword attack, um, which is definitely very good, because while the 2H yeah. is strong, it kind of ends her pressure. Mm -hmm. so. Key right to Tommy. Nice. And, yeah, and Mondo Cosmo has been doing pretty well defending, all things considered. Getting out of most of these, just... Mm -hmm. I, I'd say the biggest thing from MC that I've seen is that he's able to get the hits, but his damage just isn't quite at the level you'd be really scared of Slayer, where, like, if you get counter hit by Slayer, you should probably be nearly dead. Nice There's air throw, air throw though. Nice, nice air throw, Mondo. Oh yeah, that's uh, a good nice counter hit by Yeah, I see. Like, almost tight, almost brought it together, just wasn't quite able to... Yeah, Mondo cracked a little bit, did do be like that though. Ooh, dash nice. forward throw. Yeah, yeah, nice answer to the back dash, because Rudy's a coward. Ooh, ooh, I, ooh, I uh, like the, to ta the delay to Tommy to catch the Slayer oh, being a masher. Let's the go. run up throw turns into 6 H, which counter hits. Let's so go, Rudy. Ready for see, it. This, see, when, when I talk about people winning in these brackets because they can convert off of like situations, it's like this is this is why Rudy it wins because he's really good at converting versus other people. Like yeah, the consistency I mean, level on his like damage 
like his punishments is way more consistent than like anyone else in an Ursi's bracket, in my opinion. Yeah, that's yeah. actually something we were talking about uh, in the over in the general group chat. It's just really one of the best things you can do if you're entering these beginner brackets and like you don't know how to deal with like a character like Soul or like Viken. Go into training mode, figure out what you can punish, and just consistently get down your punishes. Because if you keep, if you let somebody just kind of do fake things to you over and over and over again. Like, how do you win the matchup? Because you clearly just aren't able to stop them doing things they shouldn't be doing. And if you don't know how to stop things or what things they shouldn't be doing, ask. Yep. No one's gonna, everyone, everyone's gonna try to help you to the best of their ability. If they don't, they're whack and then they'll get weeded out like the week. The week will be called eventually anyways, so. Both players are just vying for control of the corner. Oh, I, I'm surprised that that backdash actually came out even with the YRC. Let's go, Rudy. Yeah, Mondo, Mondo doing his best to try and mix up Rudy. And it looks like Rudy started to find the timing for Tatami mats to yeah. cover the option of backdash or forward dash. Uh, I do like the delay Tatami, and he's actually converting off of it, and it's stopping Slayer from being a PP head, so let's go, Rudy. Ooh, it takes, you know what they say, it takes one to know one, so. Oh, gets the uh, no counter hit, though, because uh, Mafo is recovering. Ooh, oh, messed up, messed up, messed up something. Yeah, and Ooh, tried to run his zombie. Oh, oh baits the first! Uh, all awful. Resets Everything. into the overhead. Oh, uh, nice backdash. The yeah. kisser. Good spacing from Mondo. Yeah. Good, good patience here, too. And Abari is out with 2k. Oh, nice IB yeah. on the Helter Skelter. One thing I would like to see is when you IB Helter Skelter, immediately uh, high Azami, it's something Jampanu. Oh, or is, he tries is, to throw is, after it. Was that? Is no one going to talk about how like he got counter hit for pressing Azami in the same situation like twice? <laughs> hey, I do it too. I also have a habit of just mashing parry and Slayer pressure as jam and dying for it. Like low Azami too. Like he's mashing low Azami. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I mean, Slayer only has 6k as an overhead. I mean, yes, but he's dying. Just well, blocked my head. There's the Oath on. There's the TK. Yeah, the I, I feel Thonson. like Turles has been trying to represent these, and we've been seeing the, like the close slash red RC, and I think that's just an execution error, and that's kind of the first Yosansen that came out correctly. Yeah, Good he's done it. That was the first one that he's done correctly that also netted him reward, like actual reward. Now there's the big Slayer damage. Of course, Biken has really high guts, so now that she's getting lower on her life bar... Oh no, but the Biken's lightweight got her out of that combo! Alright, Rudy's got his burst back. He's gonna get to use it. And he's got Rudy make your meter count. You know, both these homies, one of y'all need to make the meter count to force the situation. I believe in y'all. Yep, Ooh. oop! And, and just OTG kills, I like uh, it. That was, good. that was really smart by Mondo. So, it do be that way. Yeah, I mean, that kind of took away uh, Turtle's chance to even burst that, because the immediate RC took, like, just blocked it out. Like, you could have burst it, it would have been blocked. And then, obviously, like, just at that point, one more hit and you're dead anyway. Um, we will see if Rudy... Uh, Rudy doesn't seem like the type that gets Omega Shook, so we'll see. I mean, he seems to pretty consistently win these events, so I'm sure he... Can turn this around. Well, let's see if uh, what Mondo has done is the. So, Mondo definitely got one throw there, but if there's one thing Turla is really good at, it is using his Abare to get out of those throws, which is kind of like that Viking brain rot of, I don't want to be thrown because I can't Tazami it. Got, just got hit by the. by the Tazami, meaning. Nice uh, conversion with Kukunashi. Yeah. There's the throw. This is where Biken scary is when she has it in the corner because the throw becomes a combo and she can also fuzzy very easily, catches the back dash. Very strong round. Yes, yeah, very convincing, very clean. That's the kind of round. Children, that's the way you want your rounds to look. Yeah, you want to get your opponent in the corner with one confirm and then you just want to kill them while they're in the corner the whole time. That's that, definitely that's what you want to see. Welcome to Guilty Gear. <laughs> yeah, pretty much doesn't matter what character you're playing, you want them in the corner. All right, Mondo Cosmo find themselves in the corner. Tello doing his job to try to keep him there. Oh, the a zombie actually got through it. Mondo Cosmo getting hit low. One thing we haven't never seen from Mondo either is we don't really see the random dead on times. 
And then Cherelf takes it. Good job, Rudy. 3 1. So Rudy's going to go ahead and advance to grand finals. Good job, Rudy. Well, we're going to see Mondo cool. versus Cade. Did it. Which, yeah. which is good because I will have to dip for a minute or two in about 10 minutes because my DoorDash will be here. <laughs> so it's timely. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, it's look at look. I had to order Taco Bell. It's not nice as a stretch, but hey. Oh well, um, hey. Food is food. You gotta make it work sometimes, right? Oh, god, man, Yo Zonson is tricky when you have nerves. So I, I was kind of not being nervous, Five Head. I, I was kind of assuming anytime we saw the close slash Red Roman cancel that you were going for a Yo Zonson. Yeah. Also, I've been mean to do more like. Far slash on block cancel into TK Yozansen. Cause all I do is raw Yozansen. That's easier for me. So Leo but, uh, versus Slayer. Uh, <laughs> I've, we've seen this matchup last in KO. Uh, last in KO was Loki versus Kate, I believe, though. Yes, yes, it was. But we've seen these characters specifically. Um, so Kate's got the matchup experience. But I don't know if Mondo does. Uh, Rudy, just so you know, Pat is asking where your chip is. <laughs> you are in winner's side of grand finals, I will say. Oh man! Oh, the f you will be fighting either a Slayer or a Leo, so let that inform your decision. Pat, you want me to fight Leo and Slayer with my like maybe two month old chip? How many months? Is it? That's look, I'm just saying. Everybody's asking for it, but look, I don't want to see it. Oh, God. Yeah, Roz hates watching me. Anyway, Kane is currently destroying Mondo Cosmo. It's just wrecking him. Goodness. Yeah. I mean, that's Leo. Here's the thing about Leo. Here's the thing about Leo, and this isn't really a matchup thing, but I feel like sometimes people need to understand that just because Leo like nearly perfects you does not necessarily mean that you like did something yeah, yeah, yeah. wrong. Yeah. You, sometimes you just get fucked up, and it's just like, oh. It's oops, sorry. Sometimes it's just a Leo experience, right? Yeah. Like you, you might, you didn't do anything wrong. Leo just was more right. And speaking yeah. of being more right, round start six P. Which yeah. I think it's important because that way, like Leo uh -oh. can't emotionally control you as long as you like put it. If you frame it that way, it's a lot easier yeah. to stay calm. Because I know that's like a lot of people's problem. It's true. You gotta have a good stare down in the mirror with yourself. And be like, listen, it's not your fault. Leo's just, just dumb. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Leo's just for PP heads, like Kane. Yeah. There it is. The reversal super gets the knockdown. Yeah, and looking nice. for uh, wake up buttons there with the uh, back turn dust there too. Mondo's been a uh, pretty good at actually not like hitting into a parry that often. Like getting actual punches on like consistently apparently punches. Man, I wish that was me. God. Oh, we dropped oh, the combo. The 2D, uh, the combo just needs oh. to, uh, I don't know if it's nerves, but they just need to tighten up these confirms a little bit. And uh, that risk, uh, now you've given Leo the chance. Oh, thank uh, God, because... Look, okay. that, that round, that, that, that round was even. If Leo got that hit, that was over. <laughs> yeah, that was, the life bars were completely even there. Just... Yeah, they, they, oh, the, no. the, the life deficit was an illusion. <laughs> Okay, first. Yeah. Right. Nice, nice. Okay, dash got her burst the... back there a little bit too late. He's lost a lot of his life for it. Oh, the uh, overhead faint into the. Into the, yeah, classic Mondo. Me oh, and a perfect. <laughs> perfect. And that was a Slayer round. You know, we saw yep. the Slayer, Leo round run one, run through. It's a Slayer round. Like, you know, it happens. I really like just how, like, Mondo, very distinct style is that he's basically playing, like, Grappler Slayer. He's yeah, he doesn't want to throw you more than he wants to hit you. Yeah, he's got a very distinct style of Slayer, I will agree, where, like, you kind of expect Slayer to be, like, throwing out buttons, kind of going ham, and Mondo plays a little bit more subdued and a little bit more subtle overall until he bites you. He's good at making the adjustment, too, when you're like, okay, I'm just going to counter that. He's like, oh, on God? All right, fun time. <laughs> on God? Oh, my God. Listen. Oh, cross up into the throw. Speaking Ooh, of WPO's across. Got to FD that. And I learned that lesson yesterday. You know what? Our... Actually, First that, point. but like that was the three hit combo that took off 40% of your life. <laughs> oh, but speaking of life bars being even, uh. Just yeah, that's me jump like, out! Ooh, the risk. I, I, I. You, you might have wanted to burst that, my friend. Woo! FD jump out! And that, oh, yeah. That, that was one combo. This is a PSA. Do not let Leo stay on you when he's in back. One just FD to jump out. Just jump later. out and leave. Yeah. <laughs> just hit the brick. <laughs> yeah. Roz gave me a very handy meme image that would be perfect right now. I can't share with you all, but you can imagine. It's a skeleton running saying there's no responsibilities. You just leave. Get out. Yeah, just leave. Hit the bricks. Hit the bricks. 
And can't cross up Leo, it doesn't work. Side swap into the knockdown. Yo! <laughs> press the button. Ooh, RCs, but doesn't get the combo completion. Good. No, I like that. She's in like, alright, my time's over, I'm chill. Don't want to get Leo, right? Like this. Uh, oh, he's sniffing that burst. He wants that's it. Her, he wants that's it. Okay. I mean, he's got one chance and manages to get his burst out. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, good jump out, but got caught by the. Oh. That, that, was, that, that was. That was. Oof. That was really good awareness. Like, you saw the, saw the overhead. Saw the YRC, he's going to throw me, jumps out, and then tried to mash. Don't, don't do it. It's not worth it. I, I have to reteach myself this every time I get counter hit by 5H on the other side with fucking Leo. It's not worth it, just leave. You'll, you'll get parried, you'll get 5H, he'll 2H you because he's like, I'm, I'm going to be big brain and kill you, and then you die, and you're like, I'm an idiot. And you're, and you're right, you were an idiot. Just leave. We all have to remember. Just don't Leo's, be an idiot. Yeah, exactly. Leo's big thing is like I hate playing neutral. That's why I'm a gorilla. So make it make it hard for him. Make him have to play neutral. That's not fair, but you get my point. the short thing. Right? Two can whiffs unfortunately. This can be a Leo round. RC into the kill. Yes. I would have liked to see. I mean, just just for the off chance of a hero burst, RC into super. Right. Make it 100 percent. Yeah, I'd say for both of these characters, it's like hard to burst from both sides of this matchup. Because if you burst too soon, then like you might not get it back even in the next round. They both these characters do so much damage. So, like, Kate's you got really the have to plan uh, on when you're gonna burst. Kate's got the practice of bursting too soon against Slayer too, with our our Loki friend from previously. Oh yeah, the last NKO I blew uh, Grand Finals was Loki versus Cade, and I, if I remember right, Cade ran that back. Uh, yes, it was a very long set. It was essentially who's gonna burst the worst, and uh, I don't know who. Technically, Cade won, but I don't know who won the burst the worst for. Mondo uh, winning it off of a traded pile bunker, which is the mm. best kind of trade. Just slayers in the chat, chef's kiss. Nice two H. Like I'm thinking you're gonna do something. Rare instance of six H not hitting someone in the air. Oh, what a throw! Using the the hit stun for the projectile to go into the throw. Gonna run up, throw him? No, keeping it. Wants to crank the risk. Ooh, caught him jumping. Nice! That is an excellent use of that dash. Five, three, uh, uh, eight. Knocked him. What's the mix? Throws him out of it. Went for the low. Nice use of. No, oh. Ooh, ooh, five H. Five H is so brave, dude. Five H is a button. <laughs> I I don't know how Mondo does it, man. Every time I see uh, Perry, I'm just like I'm out, peace. Hey. Although, and you know, I guess Slayer also not being the best neutral character probably doesn't ooh, want to like take that ooh, chance. Ooh, that is so scary. That was yeah. such a scary. Almost, almost got enough to kill, but didn't quite get the kill. Didn't ooh. do a safe jump. But ooh, I no clinched. Way. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm surprised like my... flash kick that. My butt definitely clenched seeing that. I'm so impressed that that was not a flash. That both people waited. That yeah, was... like that looked like it was almost a safe jump, but not quite. And it looks like Cade didn't quite, wasn't quite sure, so didn't bite. Probably smart. Yeah, smart, but like should have seen the situation. But like, all right, he's not doing anything. Throw. Yeah, just go. Like you can always throw a safe jump too. Like that's the other thing. Yeah, or also just do a throw OS. You know, close slash, heavy slash. At worst, you get your close slash. At best, you get a throw. Or maybe at, at best, you get a, a close slash confirm. Depends on who you're asking. Unblockable RC to pick up the combo from it. A lot of damage off of this. Yep. Just that much risk, too, right? Nice throw. He's been uh, really improving his strike throw gameplay. Really. And speaking of a throw, just, oh, you're going to teleport? Okay, cool. Let me help you out there. Yeah. Downside to the, the throw playstyle of, of a Slayer, right? Is like, you can't get thrown out of your own throws. But depends on the spacing. Sometimes uh, Mondo is really good at calling them out with like a fake spacing throw attempt. That is true. Uh, Slayer has the two different versions of his forward dash, uh, depending on whether or not you hold the forward input. So you, he can adjust how far forward he dashes. That was a risky play, actually. If Mondo had just held back while he did that, I would have, I think, OS the, the throw and just blocked it. From the looks of it, I'm not sure if it was for sure. Huge amount of damage here. Ooh, but gets counter hit out of 6k by 5 heavy. That's not what you want to do. Oh, dash it through him. Yeah, throw him those. 
not talk to myself mostly. Gotta throw this. I do like also what Kate is doing. Kate is pressing far slash and holding the punch button down, uh, just just to see if um, Mondo is going for the dandy step because you can't really do a dandy step and then do a low fast enough to punish Leo when he's in that uh, parry stance. Yeah, that's true. Your best option is probably just to to block and chill. So two two right now. Yeah, it's not um, even. I don't know. This, this is gonna get to great. Fight. Yeah, Turleth on the loser side of Grand. Yeah, what a PP head. Will I bust out the chip and make Rouse upset? Let that guy in the winner. I mean, I mean, look, I mean, if you lose, you're gonna you're gonna be one looking stupid, but not that's me. Because I'm that's gonna have a field day with yeah, you, Harry. You are hat happy. Well, I'm gonna make Pat happy if I win this chip. <laughs> I think you, I think Pat would understand if you lost to Slayer as Chip, in fairness, or to Leo as Chip. Yeah, who lost to either of these characters, as they are just decimating each other's health bars, right? If Leo okay. does five HP, you can't pile it. Yeah, unfortunately, like when Leo's in that back turn, when he does his uh, whiff far slash or whiff standing heavy, then presses the auto guard. He's blocking all mids and highs, so as soon as like you touch it, he can cancel to his two H. Oh! Oh no! Cool. Went for the bite too early, but no punish on it. I think it was because a uh, Kate had done the FDN, so he had a little bit of extra block. A little there, bit right? of extra, yeah. Oh man! So point. set point for Mondo yeah. Cosmo gets the round start six P. No counter hit, so not a huge amount of damage, but gets the corner spacing. And Kate's got to earn his burst back still. Yeah, but you know it's it's pretty close. So if I think there is a definite chance we'll see it this round, and if he's about to lose, he probably gonna bust it out. Gets caught by the overhead. Yeah, has to burst that, oh, but don't burst no. that part of the combo! What oh, option. there's the ice, and yeah, gonna bust out. I use my burst, I'm gonna get out of here. That was a really good choice for Mondo, too, because he was like, he sees me RC, he's gonna burst, because, you know, people see RC, it's like, I'm gonna burst now, because that's, you're gonna do something for sure. Yeah. Crosswise doesn't good, care. Good burst from Mondo, though, uh, burst during the 5D in the combo. You burn 50 meter to uh, do a 5D, this is a safe burst point. Ooh, I mean, I'm sure Kate is kind of understanding that was like ready for the burst and just like, I'll eat it. Good blocks! Got caught by the overhead as I said that though! Oh. And got crossed up, so set point for both these characters now, but Mondo much closer to his burst. Block. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but I mean, of course... Ooh. Oh yeah, gonna beat out the... I like that. Finally goes for the 2D to beat out the round start 6P. Not gonna let it happen. Oh, I like to jump out. Nice. Ooh, oh, oh, yeah. I mean, even so. Even we'll so, have to go. You know, I was thinking Mondo Cosmo was getting kind of greedy with the ending in those Mafas because of that Aizen, but it looks like he was ready to bait it. Not that time, though. And hey, do it again. Okay, can't turn this around. The bad oh, trying killing. to bait the burst. Trying yeah. to bait the burst. We got to try, right? Oh, and no. speaking of baiting the burst, not a time to do it. Mondo's, Mondo's going to wrap back up, up with the burst bait. One adjustment from Mondo. And it sniffed out that burst perfectly, by the way. Yeah, I mean, you can't burst when uh, when Slayer's doing the close slash, far slash. You really can't burst there. Um, uh, but uh, honestly, I was fighting Mondo before, and he, wa he wasn't baiting that, so I'm glad to see that adjustment. So. Hold on. Once, Charles, I once to, again, I, I will I gotta make a decision. <laughs> oh, I, I'm here on the D20s roll, buddies. We're, we're, we're getting the dice out to make this decision. All right, hold on, chat. Give me odds or evens or odds for for chip. All right, someone, someone pick Twitch a choice. Chat. Twitch chat, you yeah. guys, even or odds. We'll Twitch chat for decides for chip. Yeah, we'll wait for the delay. I'm patient. Evens, Hydra said it first. Okay, Hydra so evens is first. so yeah. even. That's all evens first. It's a six. Okay, all chip right. time. Oh my god. Red. I mean, he's in the winner's side of the bracket. Remember, Mondo Cosmo has to reset the bracket. It's a first to three, has to reset the bracket, and then win another set in order to completely... Yeah, but work. you can't reset the emotional pain that this dummy <laughs> head's about to cause me. I mean, as long I'm as Danger learning. Time doesn't happen. I'm learning. Let me... Be. Are you, are you going to mute and deafen yourself? Yeah, I am. Okay. All right. Yeah, my, my, my food is definitely going to get here in the middle of the set, so... Have fun, Amo, whenever I have to dip. I mean, I'll, I'll be too busy laughing in order to really commentate anyway, so don't I worry mean, about it too yeah. much. Yeah, I mean, it'll just be like a minute or two, so. Um, Playing default chip. Hmm, couldn't decide on the color, so. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. 
He did good, Rudy. We got gift subs out of Pat for it. Now win, he'll give him more, I bet. Ooh, good 6H. I mean, Turlock has been doing a lot of chip things, but I don't know if he's had done a lot of chip things against Slayer, so I don't know if he could play this matchup. But he's definitely been working really well on chip, and like, his movement is getting there, and his ability to run his pressure is also getting there. Now, the question is, I don't know if he knows how to deal like backdash cancel and other Slayer-specific things. Really, the question is, is, is can Mondo Cosmo deal with Alpha Blade? And if the answer is yes, Rudy's about to have to switch to Viking. If the answer is no, then Rudy's about to win. <laughs> I mean, good points too. We don't really have a chip in NKO, so I don't think MC has too much uh, matchup experience either. Wait, but Rudy's been playing chip for like 30,000 years now. Like, yeah, but I don't... just Rudy. Like, we don't have any other chips. Well, so. I mean, yeah, but Rudy's like consistently showing up, though. So. Well, I don't know how much the two of them have been playing. That's fair, though, because neither do I. And also, I also don't know how good Rudy is at uh, FDC mix-ups because I play Jam. So. I don't think he needs them. This, I think it's sort of like, I don't think that's the part that's going to win him this guy if he wins the chip. Well, right now, MC looks to be just, how do I even deal with this character? And letting Rudy get away with a lot. Oh, God, gets the Abari, though. Gets the knockdown. So how is Rudy going to deal with that? He's going to burst. Yeah, he bursts smartly with mean, 5D. Yeah, because yeah, there's not really much uh, Mondo can do about that. Yeah, and, it just... him to, and he lost meter, so, yep. Oh, nice is... uh, J2K mix. Game one to Turleth right now. Let's go, Rudy. Thanks for showing up, Pat the Flip. Uh, yeah, I will. I will extend another thank you to Oxy. Thank you for streaming this for us. Uh, yes, of course. Without you. Oh, gets gets duffed by it slate, but doesn't get countered. Still loses half your life bar because your chip. Gets a run up throw out of Slayer's 5K. Wow. Yeah, it looks like Monocosmo is actually having trouble just dealing with, even without the FDC, still having trouble dealing with uh, Chip's quick mix-up. No, Reed, that's just being like, wow, I actually can kill Chip for one interaction. Yeah, yeah, Reed, cool, that, actually. Reed that just means yeah. you're, you're counter-hitting Chip with JS. That's all that Yeah, that, that just means many things are happening. <laughs> Good instant block on the Helter Skelter, backdashes and gets uh, the Gamma Blade out. Ooh, nice uh, dandy against the 6P. I like the foot seat. I think, yeah, Mondo Cosmo is having issue dealing with uh, Gamma Blade, too. Just doesn't quite know how to play around it, because obviously Gamma Blade is just going to cover all of the dandy step range. Mm hmm got to go over it. Over it or block it. Or and we just, see yeah, that. Or, or not go anywhere, yes. Oh, jumps out of the bite. And dandy time. This this could be, yeah, just immediately. Wow. Gonna, uh, now, I would say, he, yeah, has to RC because, like, if he gets touched right now by Mondo, Within the next three seconds, Rudy Ru yeah. is, Ru is so scared, oh, but it's like nothing happens. I just saw a Slayer that doesn't have Danger Time Pile Bunker combos ready. Mondo, buddy, hit up training mode. Good on uh, Turlet to hold on to his burst for that, though, because like kind of a point proven, especially if you're a round up, prove your opponent can do your can do their combo. And as I say that, he hero bursts and loses the round. So, uh, never mind, I take it all back. Rudy, you PP head. I mean, thank you. I mean, Rudy is a PP head. I've, I've been telling people that they need to really get, in the, get, get on the train, the PP head train. Me. Oh, good job for not bursting, Rudy. Oh, you want me to burst? Me. Ah, damn it. Nice backdash on the dandy. Oh, gets caught in yeah. Just pure rush over there. See, like, Chip's pressure is kind of limited, especially because once he goes to 2D, because yeah. he, his only option is the special cancel. And you're basically going between 2D into teleport, or 2D into resho, and resho is yeah. not good on block. It's only, a, like, only the resho is only really a threat in my opinion if he has 50 meter, so. Yeah, because it's it is negative one. Okay, so that makes this 1-1. One, one. Now, here, Rudy does now have the opportunity to switch off to Viking if he wants it. Like, he did lose. He can switch. No, he's going to stay on the chip. My okay. prediction is, is he's going to stay on chip for the first set, and if he loses the set, he'll switch to Viking. That's probably what's going to happen. I mean, he's not. This is fairly close set, even with uh, Turtle playing on chip, so. Oh, punishes that. Yeah. Oh, goes for the air for a reset. Yep. Yeah. 
And you know, I kind of like just going for the OTG on Slayer because you're not going to get Gerdo with Bizeme on him anyway. So you might as well. And it blocks the Mappa and punishes. Oh, but misses the 2H. Yeah. 5D. Good job not bursting from MC because you're already such low on life. Just go on to the next round. Yep. Yep. See, Mondo listens, listens to me. I mean, look. Never have faith that Rudy will listen to you. Yeah, please remember Game of Blade is plus five. Do not press buttons after it. Doesn't matter how far away from chip you are, it is always plus five. Alright, gonna have to get pat No, just eat Shuriken, that's one damage for free, but the hit stun's more important. Oh, and Mondo adjusts his tech timing, makes uh, Turtle the mess up, throws Turtle out of it. Oh, nice the Abari with the first Yeah, Abari 2S good. is no good. That was a good call. <clears throat> I mean, a scary call, but a good call nonetheless. Drops the combo. Just kind of... Ooh. <laughs> I think I've seen Sarvitz do that one. Just that, 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 that is, why would he teleport forward throw? That is definitely a Sarvitz move. I've never seen him do it, but that that just has Sarv energy. <laughs> I, I, I'm, like, I'm like, I bet Sarvitz has done that before. Just, just you know, Gamma Blade just outside of their range. So they, they whiffs and then throw them. All right, so two one for Turlith right now. Um, coming up on tournament point on chip. Now, of course, he played Biking for most of the turn. Oh no, he want he didn't want that. It had to burst. Oh, the big counter hit two H gonna get an easy combo off of it. Gets the knockdown. Thanks for not dropping that. I said that was easy. Evens up the life bars, but of course, uh, Chip kind of would die in one good counter hit and. Got a lot of work to do on Slayer still. Yeah, has to RC that. Yeah, just oh, stopped FD and got hit by all the jabs. And just gonna be oh, gets counter hit by the Gamma Blade. That's yeah. gonna be round tournament point for Rudy right Rudy. now. Let's go, Rudy. You're not embarrassing me. And then now to immediately embarrass me, do something to embarrass me. Oh, uh, give him a little bit. No, he's going to jab 2P on the teleport. Really good. I think Rudy's starting to feel himself, and that's scary. Once a, once a chip player starts feeling themselves, it, it starts to get really spooky, because, like, they'll just kind of start doing shit, and you don't know how to stop it. All right, finally uses his burst. He's He's got to make this run back start now, because he's got 20% life, and running into Gamma Blade ain't going to do it. It's not the Shuriken. He's got fast Shuriken loaded now. Loses his perfect, gets tagged by that. Ooh, there's the throw. Gets caught by the teleport, and boom, two big hit confirms. Oh! No! Doesn't get the K! Is this gonna be enough to kill with the OTG? No. But now he's in the corner and gets caught by the 2D. Rudy takes it. 3 1 on the chip. So, congratulations. Earlier for winning the intermediate bracket. Uh, I had to dip and then he won. Oh man, I did dip for like was... two seconds into the phone. That's so whack. Oh my uh, god. Mondo Cosmo immediately hits the other cap. Like, all right, now let me see your biking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so okay, congratulations, Turtle, for winning it. Uh, let's get our winners' finals from beginner bracket on here. So that is going to be Imp Retro and Ragnell. I don't know how Chip means to do it. This character is stressful. Well, Pat's in chat. Ask him. How do you do it? I will say, like, during that last match, you did you started to get in the zone a little bit more there, and it look, made, really made it look like you're starting to feel yourself a little bit. And when that happens, that's scary. <laughs> uh, I can only assume that the actual <laughs> Chip game plan is to just move until you start feeling yourself. A yeah. little bit. I, could, I definitely hit that zone eventually, but like it takes a bit, you know? And that's hence why I'm a PP hit per Raza standard. But such is how it is. I'm 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 working on it. I like I like the character. He's fun. Uh, Viking's always going to be the main, but you know, chip real fun. Play video game. Alright, so this is going to be first two, three. Oh man. Amp versus Ragnell.
into Axel versus the Soul. Isn't this not really in Axel's favor? Because, you know, strike throw plus command grab. It is, but like Soul doesn't quite have as great movement as a lot of other characters, True. so it's a little bit more even than you might think, because Soul's approaches are fairly straightforward. True, he doesn't have a, a whole lot of tools besides Run at you, Grand Viper, Ride Stamp, right? Like, the IED. Uh, it's pretty bug standard, agreed, but it's up to the Axel player to be like, understanding the what the pair what the person on the other end wants to do with that movement, right? Now of course we've seen Ragnell has a pretty no. wild soul, so if we're gonna see is Imp able to deal with that and punish that because really the way you deal with the wild soul is just be consistent. Consistently no. I mean that's one way of doing it, right? Yeah, so it wants to be in there. You know how you stop someone being in there? The DP on the zoner. <laughs> yeah. Great beat combo, but Drops it and gives uh, Axel a chance to get out. Unfortunate. Gonna eat that overhead and lose a lot of life bar. Yeah. Okay. This, this so is I see the... I missed the first round. So yeah. okay, I, I no longer have to dip because but I had to go and answer the door. So oh, this so... is always gonna be the uh, the challenge of the beginner player, right? Like how do I how do I control someone and like who does not, not want to be controlled, right? Yeah. yeah. The answer is you don't, and then you just kill them for yeah, you to interact with you. You be safe on everything with a plan that it's not that it's going to be locked, basically. I mean, I think what we're seeing right now is Imp's doing really good when Imp has Ragnall at full screen. Like, like I was saying, like Soul kind of has really straightforward approaches, but now that once Ragnall gets in, Imp's having a lot of issues suddenly. Yeah, Imp's not really a secondary defensive option too well. They're just kind of waking up and hoping to block correctly. But they don't like backdashing, DPing on wake up. Uh, yeah, or get, gets caught by the Ooh. mid there even. Nice. Oh, Safe punish that it. Grand Viper. Yeah. And of course, like, uh, uh, it's hard to it's hard to burst that. You basically had to burst when Axel jumps on you. All right. And Ooh, Wake Up doesn't block the Sparrowhawk. Going to take the so, round. I like that from Imp because Imp always goes for it, and we've all learned to just block because Imp's going to do it. But it's a it's a good way of forcing you to sit down, hold down back, and put you at full screen because obviously you know you can't do anything besides block and wait. I want to start blocking the Sparrowhawk stance. Otherwise, that happens, right? Otherwise, you eat like all of your health because you want to jump. Stupid, dumb. Watch do that. Good double jump there on the Gunflame YRC, though. Uh, got away from the air throw Ooh. attempt. Ooh, kick Soul in the back of the head for doing Volcanic Viper. Soul got lucky, didn't get hit by the 5P, but. Just... Imp really has to watch their dome here. They're getting opened up by every Bandit Bringer. Yeah. Nice. And again, jumps, double jumps out. Just go ahead and make Ragnar waste that. Uh... Oh, yeah, good. Had to burst that. He's gonna die. There's oh, too close, though. And yeah, now you got 50 meter. What are you gonna do with it? Gonna get domed in the head. And just couldn't quite get out of that one. Would like to see a, a wake up parry there. That would have been really good. Yeah, wake up parry, uh, even wake up FDE jump. We don't really see him do wake up or parry in general, actually. Yeah, it, it's something they've been slowly working into their game, but I think they're just not quite comfortable with it. And of course, like when you play Axel, why would it, it's hard to integrate that parry when you have a very like okay DP right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ooh. it's it's a bigger risk than you might need. But it's also really good at punishing those. Uh, actually, I don't know what is what happens when uh, Parry takes the projectile from the character. Is it proximity based? Um, I'm not actually certain. I'm a jam player. Uh, Roz, do you have any idea? I have no idea. Someone call Gekia. I have no, I have no idea. Uh, unfortunately, I can no longer just like walk down the street and heckle him, but not until tomorrow anyway. Well, we'll all just have to guess, or someone in chat will look up Dustin and be like, I knew this all along. I didn't look it up. You know, uh, good. Gold burst attempt, and the riot stamp to get past like the 2H is working. I actually kind of like that. Um, but of course, Imp just does have to remember that you have a ton of meter compared to Ragno right now. So consider wire seeing those whiff normals and just punishing the riot stamps. Yeah, especially. Or even just do Renson. Oh, uh -oh. here we go. All right, what punish are you going to do? You're going to double punish you're, it. You're, punish you're it. Gonna, punish you're, 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 no. Do it again. Well, punish they it. know punish how to it. get over it and they know how to punish at that time. So yeah. Yo, Wait, is this is your final? Uh, winners. This is winners. Winners finals, by the way. Yeah. Yep. Rag Ragnell with the awesome. Uh, just, uh, I did like Dragon install me. Ragnell. I, I, if you ever do watch the VOD, I do want to. I do want to bring up. It's okay to Grand Viper once, but Imp pretty obviously knew how to avoid it. So the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Second time questionable. At least like so, a second time could be like Fafnir, Riot Bringer, 
Gunflame. Yeah. Gunflame and Dragon Soul, uh, Dragon Hit Soul Soul? That's crazy, dude. Alright, so... And fighting their way out of the corner. Ooh, gets the anti-air, but doesn't get the confirm from it. Oh, no. Yeah, gonna punish that. Yeah, good burst. Like, that burst is good because you have Imp near the corner, so bursting will keep him even further in the corner, and you avoid getting punished for your DP. It's caught by the overhead. Hey, I've got a bandit bringer too. It's just on a normal. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a good way to take a little bit of health if they're not blocking it, right? Yeah, Imp's starting down. to, Imp's starting to, mm -hmm. I think, gate control here. Ragnarok not FB, FDing in the air. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Imp's, Imp's favorite jump back, JS, working out for them. I believe that is 2-1 uh, now. I thought it was 1-1. I one. can't count. It might be 1-1. One, one. I think it was 1-1. One, one. I don't know. I'm not paying that much attention. It's yeah, it's 1-1. One, one. That's why I made the lobby a rematch lobby. It's true. Because then you I don't have can't. to count. Jam players what? can't count. Axel Dirty cannot purpose. parry projectiles. Thanks, Dane. I will. Uh, uh, it's it's one, one one. It's one one right now. Yeah. Nice. Also, also fellow block block boy block girl block non-binary individual Drifter Dane in the chat. Hello, yeah. Drifter. Hi, my Dane. My favorite. My favorite block boy. Dane, please pet Java and Pixel for me. Thank you. Yeah. Likewise. Love. Love. Pu puppy. Love. Puppy. Good. Puppy. Soft. Imp is nice. doing an amazing job keeping Ragnell out of exactly like Imp's got the download. They figured yeah, out. Oh, I see it, what I see what yeah, you want to do. Yeah, right, I know what's away. happening now. Yeah, and I'm just gonna no, we're just we're just not gonna let you play your game. You're you're just gonna sit down. You're gonna learn how to dash an FD break and Ragnell now with with no meter, which means yeah. he can't jump. He can run up forward FD break, which is the correct thing he should be doing. Or they but should unfortunately, be doing he just keeps games. burning his meter on these random FDs like that. It's like. I You're think they're not... a little bit worried about the chip from Renson. Yeah, they, they have to. They... Unfortunately, you got no meter to... They're worried, about the, they're worried about the chip because something people need to know, if I don't know if this is something that people know, is that uh, chip damage is not affected by Guts, so chip damage is actually more effective the less life you have. Because Guts yeah. does not fail chip damage. I didn't know that. Thank you, Oz. It's true. You're welcome, dummy. That's me. I mean, as a, as a biking player, he just a zombie and doesn't take chip damage anyway. Teehee? Teehee, indeed. <laughs> Oh, that was <laughs> so yeah, that was a uh, very man. good safe jump. JS uh, managed to land a block and got the air to air confirm. Good work, Imp. I know Imp has been struggling getting those air to air confirms for a while, so good to see them. But it's domed by Bandit Bringer, loses half your life. Or now you're in the corner against Soul. What do you do? You jump across JK. Hey, Ragnar, not blocking the overhead either. That is one way to deal with the bandit if you're not good at blocking. You know, just well, the catch is if you jump and block it, you oh. might get. Ooh, wake up throw! Finally, Imp's doing it. I don't. I don't respect your lack of Oki. Oh, but didn't FD the BB in the air. Didn't get counter hit, so it wasn't big hit. But there's the big counter. Yeah, has to burst that. Oh, oh. that was gonna be tight. I, I don't think Imp did it because they want to block. But if they knew, if they knew yeah, that, I think I think Imp's just not quite at the level yet where they're ready to. They're not RC. thinking about it yet. Yeah, they're not yeah. quite at that level. And I, I mean that respectfully fun. and not in a way to insult someone, but just they're not at that level. It's like that level of experience yet. Yeah, that Eno takes boys. time to get to. And thank you, Eno Boys, for raiding. Um, welcome, people from Eno Boy Stream. Welcome to NKO. We are wrapping up our beginner bracket out of the Midwest here. Oh, <laughs> high, Christ high Christian and Christian sympathizers. <laughs> And fighting their way out of the corner here. Now, Imp is starting to get kind of up back happy in the corner here, and they're getting caught out a lot for it. See, I would, there's I would another like double that. jump, double jump, just every How single time. How many times have I said if people will just win against Imp if they just, like, corner them, and then just wait for them to double jump, and then do, like, the descending, like, 45 degree angle move, and then air tire them with six people? Yeah. That is 2 1 to Ragnell. Yeah, Imp really has to calm down and stop jumping when you're in the corner there. Stop jumping, or if you're gonna jump, super jump FD block, and then ID out. Yeah, because unfortunately, if you double jump in the corner, you're just kind of stuck in the air now, and you can't do anything. You yep. have to come down with whatever you got, and if you get, especially against character like Soul, who has good anti airs, you're dead. And then it's like the good thing about super jump ID out is like it's up to the other opponents to be on point with like calling out if you're gonna come down with a button or if they're gonna be able to air through you, you know, calling out those things, and which is a lot harder than hey, you're in the corner still, I could do what I want. Yeah, and something I'll say too is like I've definitely like we've seen Imp, Imp's getting a little bit stressed out and starting to crack here. I uh, gotta punish those volcanic vipers, for instance. So it's like one of the big things, biggest advice I always have for 
beginner players or players in tournament in general is stay calm. That is honestly yeah. all you have to do. You don't have to not crack, just last longer than your opponent. Mm -hmm. Take a second, chill, you know, a breather. Yeah, find your center. Nice! Good yeah, character. especially if you're playing a character like Axel, getting shook is like definitely not the way. Yeah, so. see, a lot of these ups, a lot of these jumps, a lot of these up backs kind of actually. I'm going to give Ragnar a little bit there. You're seeing Imp up back a lot. Why would he go for the command throw even to start with? No, that's true. You go for the air throw every time. Like 2p, like wait, and then see if they're going to DP, and then you see the jump, jump, see if they double jump. If they don't, air throw. All right, so Ragnar on set point right now. Good luck. Let's see if uh, Imp can uh, start to make the adjustment and kind of slow down the match again. They started up position, but these, these jumps are really what's killing them because they're giving, like, they're just giving Ragnall the space just to yeah. run forward. I'm pretty sure if they press 5P on these, like, uh, band bringers too, they'd beat them, right? Oh, easily. The only catch is Soul can run under Axel's 5P. And For yeah, sure. not FDing in the air, so you're going to eat a Volcanic Viper. So if Imp sees this VOD later, uh, you might want to press. Oh my oh, there. god! That was a good command throw on the Tech Trap that reset. That was good. Because people are going to tech FD because they're like, I don't want to get, you know, hit in the air by Axel, like that. Yeah. Uh, so they're going to be in a defensive mind. Again, oh my god, again. RC didn't kill! RC didn't kill! No, you no, fool! No, he doesn't, he doesn't know how to. But you know, you're at a good range right now, just need the one Low touch meter. and no meter. So yep, that's checkmate. Imp's going to be the player that figures out, like, the stuff. They're, they're gonna, Imp's going to be, like, eventually when they get good, just be like, I smell whenever someone's being, like, liable to get touched by the command grab now. Yeah. Just because of how much they go for it. That's no. their brand. That, like, doing command grab for better or worse is definitely Imp Retro's brand. It's true. Now, it is still set point for Ragnall here. Imp playing with a, without a lot of burst behind them and already lost half the life bar. Didn't block in the air. This is why you got to jump in FD, folks. Yep, yep, it is. A lot of this also would be mitigated by like, hey, you know what? You know what? Bandbringer loses to DP or Parry or, or 2S or 2S. And there's the perfect. So Ragnar gonna send Imp down into the losers. Um, and Not I think Imp. So good job to Ragnar. You'll be waiting in uh, grand finals for the winner between Imp and Caitlyn. Yeah, Reed or Hydro in the chat is even saying, like, this, we've seen Imp, like, Imp knows how to do it. It's just probably the tournament nerves cracking. Yeah, down. you really gotta be, like, one of the best things to do is just, uh... Take a chill. Calm down. Every every knockdown situation, just take take a second to be like, hey, what do I think they're gonna do? What should I do in response? What have they been doing so far, right? Really, really think about how has, how has the game gone so far? And of course, well, like... Even cool. even not even thinking about that, just thinking to yourself, I can do this, I can win, I just need to play my game, run my race, mm -hmm. and let everything fall into place. Just that sort of mental calming, and just telling yourself that you can win, that you're not going to crack, that you're going to be fine. The positive and, mindset is imperative. Mm -hmm. Also, Caitlyn Blizzard won the uh, Pizzato, but going for the Ram because they forgot the character change. Oh well, well, if you lose this, if you lose a match, it's a first to three, so you get the chance to switch over to Zato. So. I actually, uh, have you? I mean, we've probably seen this matchup only because of Gekio and Arn, I imagine, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, a fair but... bit, but not too often. Yo, that was to confirm it. Gekio is kind of an enigma. <laughs> Gekio plays Axel in a way that I have not seen any other Axel play. And I mean that in the kindest and most impressed way possible. No, I get you. He is a good noodle. He is a good noodle. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's, he's a good noodle. I remember uh, at Frosty's one year, he did relatively decent, I think, in the double digits, no? Yeah, Gekio is a very strong Axel. Um, so th I don't think like anyone could take that. Well, someone could take his knock, but they should. It's definitely just like Gekio is distinct. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, I think in this matchup, a big issue Ramathal has is she can't really set the swords. Yeah. And I'm not even sure if you really want to, because Axel can obviously just kind of press a 5P and clear the screen. Now, that worked out there, getting the sword set in order to punish Axel uh, going for the Doesn't mean it always will, though, right? That is a... I would also say, like... It makes sense that like Ram's comfort zone usually uh, is in the air, so she can set swords, come down with good button. It's my turn now, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but Axel being able to deny her those zones of like where she wants to be to set up a sword, she's gonna have to get a little bit more creative or uh, in, uh, more 
defensive on where you set your swords, or just playing without them. Even. That was a good run under when they saw uh, him jump into the air, though. Ran under and started the uh, Ramlefall things. And I like that. The dash forward FD break, I really, really like seeing that in our beginner bracket, just because like, that's really what you want to see, and that's how you get closer when you're playing neutral. Mm -hmm. Especially against Axel. Kind of reminder to everyone, uh, no matter who. Run forward, and then FD block will stop all your momentum and make you safe. Yep, and yes. you'll be blocking, so... Me meanwhile, you know, players are crying. Yeah, whereas if you just, you know, 6-6 six, six and hold down back, you're gonna have to slide before you can block, so... FD break has that advantage for you. That's a lot Ooh, of damage! Oh, dude, confirmed though! Us, but yeah! Now, so Caitlyn uh, wasn't ready for that hit, unfortunately. Yeah, Caitlyn hasn't really gotten a chance to really get a clean knockdown on Imp and start the ram all time. And gonna get chipped out. And actually, I can stop blocking low. Unfortunately, Caitlyn Sleet looks kind of lost here. Dang. Got to, bro that, got to bring it out, huh? I've been waiting the whole time. I know. I know. Good stuff on Imp, though. Uh, yeah, of course, Caitlyn is allowed. Yeah, gonna return to lobby. Gonna go ahead and, I think, switch over to Zato. Yeah, as um, they were playing. Which, uh, probably a bit better, I, just because based of Based on the, what I've seen, Caitlyn's comfort, like, seems more comfortable playing as Zato in general, and probably in that matchup would be more comfortable, so I think that's the correct decision. Mm. In in my onion, but I mean, you know, who cares about my opinion? <laughs> Some strange girl on the internet. Alright, let's see how this goes for Caitlyn. Gave, gave Imp the round, but Imp does have to adjust to the Zato pick, you know, which is a factor, right? You're in a, a specific head state for one character. How quickly can you shift that? Yeah, some one? people, including myself, are not good at switching characters with said. Well, Kaylin seems to be doing pretty alright at it so far. Yeah, I've actually been impressed with their ability to switch. Thank you, Drifter, you're a good noodle too. Alright. So far, pretty good. Oh, like... I just read chat. Caitlyn was supposed to go in with Zato the whole time, but apparently was locked into Ram on accident. No, yeah, I read, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm, I, I missed that part. I, I must have the part, my bad. But yeah, that that, yeah. that can actually makes way more sense. But, uh, it's... Yeah, I mean, Caitlyn's just like really solid. Yeah, I mean, there's not really much to say. It's just like, we need to see uh, Caitlyn try to use Invite Hell to get in. Like we saw Puddins play this matchup earlier. Mm. Yep, see, that's a chance to kill it. But see, that was a chance, but Eddie was also dead, so it's going to kind of be a struggle for rinse and repeat, good old rinse and repeat and retro. Noodle knockout. I agree, it's no noodle knockouts. It's like, um, a Wizard of Oz, are you a good noodle or are you a bad noodle? <laughs> we need team good noodle versus team bad noodle. I know I am, I guess. No, you're definitely on team bad noodle. <laughs> I try. Ooh, nice overhead. Ooh, tried to jump out, but gotta remember FD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. remember when we were talking about Imp needing to jump back in FD in the ID? Well, you'll definitely die to Noviru if you don't do that, so. Yeah, I mean. Well, Ama's, Ama's advice, like, clearly coming into play here, or, like, the lack of heating it is clearly in play on screen. Yeah, I think a lot of people forget Noviru is air unblockable because it is the puppet attacking and it is. feels like it might be a projectile, but you gotta FD. What can I say? All these yeah. counter hits! Stop pressing buttons! Yeah, that is true. Uh, Drifter, kind of Drifter, did, Drift did, Drifter did give advice to Imp in the criti criti criticism ch uh, channel about uh, air blocking or er, FDing uh, of your group. So, that's something that Imp has been informed about and should be aware of. Great tournament nerves and stuff, but it's not like no one said that to them. So. Mm -hmm. It's probably highly. in the heat of the moment to be conscientious of that. Oh, nice idea yeah. over the drill. It, 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 it's easier said than done. Like, let's not let's not play here, but the you know, you gotta, you gotta do it. I like that, just blocking, being patient. Oh, but you can't really come on Axel from that angle. Caitlyn in a bad Crazy. spot right now with no meter stuck in the corner. It's gonna be unblockable. Yeah, just reacts to the jump. And thank you, Okrens, for uh, raiding. Welcome to the NKO. <laughs> we are in losers finals of the Midwest beginner bracket. Ooh, I'm sad that Caitlyn, good old Caitlyn Snow, unfortunately looking like Caitlyn Sleet right now. Good old Caitlyn Sleet didn't get yeah. the punish, even though that was really good to make that whiff, but didn't capitalize on it. 
That seems to be like a running theme of like NKO brackets a lot of the times is like good ideas sometimes. Thank you, thank you, Akai. I like to think that I'm pretty funny. Um, you know, my boyfriend says I'm funny, and the rest of you don't really matter. Ooh. The point being is that NKO's good like running ideas. theme is like good ideas, but poor execution of yeah. said ideas, or like not capitalizing on the ideas meaningfully. Yeah, like which I guess we do guess means thing and it, don't so. necessarily know why you're gonna do this thing, or like if you do something, you should have the confidence that when it works, you should be able to convert off of it. Um, and yes. just a really easy example is just like jabbing out of pressure. I'll see a lot of players press 2P during a pressure rebuy of mine and then do nothing else. And it's like, if you're going to press the button, you should be able to confirm off of it. Yeah, you should be confident in your decision making. Mm -hmm. Like, even if it doesn't work out, you should be confident about oh, being able to follow up. Be ready that to is an up. option against Drill. That goes through Drill. Okay, I did not know Today that. Today I learned. Today we're all learning. It's... It, it, it is true that we are all the novices that are being knocked out today. The true novices were the friends we've made along the yeah, way. Yeah, I think I think Imp sniffed that, hey, Caitlyn doesn't really know how to deal with a command throw, so I'm going to do it. And of course, I mean, even if you could force Zato to jump, he doesn't really have a fast and snare dash. Yeah. So you can kind of abuse that, especially yeah. that far range. Yeah, and then you'll just push him to the corner, and the oh, risk and reward is probably. like not as bad as it would be against another character that has better options. Yeah, unfortunately, whiffed the uh, anti-air. Oh, nice! Nice jump, uh, AD There's jump, the damn AD thing from gonna get Kaylin. the knockdown. Kaylin's, time to Kaylin's summon no. Eddie. Good jump out. Rare oh, the fight hell goes off screen. Why is it? Why does it do that? So imp on set point here. Imp trying to keep the heat above the melting point, so Caitlyn's sleep will turn it into Caitlyn water. God. Oh no, not, not water type. Now they're gonna beat a fire type. Oh no. Just keeping it going. Oh. Alright. Imp still holding. Imp's still Snow. hopping up back in the corner. Caitlyn, Caitlyn Snow is definitely like killing Imp for like in the corner for like poor defensive decision. Caitlyn Snow is like, shut up commentator, I'm not Caitlyn Sleet, I'm Caitlyn Snow. Use the right name, goddammit, and you know, I mean, if you play well, I will. <laughs> it's all conditional. It's conditional. I mean, I've been saying Caitlyn Blizzard the whole time. It's not, I was, I'm not saying it in a bad way, it's like, it represents your performance as all. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh that? the Shadow Gala gets punched. Oh, not, oh, not quite aware. Oh, no awareness oh, no. quite yet. Yeah, still. It's oh, nice, for, nice frame trap. It didn't lead into anything. You see, and the see there, it, there it is. There it is. The last thing I have to say is that was great, but it didn't lead to anything. And then, pow, just dead. Wow. Dead. That was a good showing from Caitlyn Sleep. Like, you did okay. really well yeah. today. You got third of your first bracket. That was really good. Yeah, I just need to work on like confidence in general and confidence in certain decision making points. But also, like, know where the Caitlyn is a very, very recent addition to NKO. So, yes, like, this is their first. This is their first NKO. Right? Exactly. Like, this right? is their first one. So, so getting third in your first it. NKO is very, oh my God. It's very, super good. very good. Yeah, we can't be all like Mr. Rudy Two Shoes over here and win the the first NKO ever. Listen, I, I did not and, actually. That was Mr. Kojak. Oh, I thought. Uh, oh, I thought you won the first one. Oh, did you win the second one? I won the second one because the okay. first one I was like, I don't know okay. if I qualify as a beginner, so I shouldn't. Yeah, that's why then, I thought you won the first like, one. Okay, I, yeah, I got the first. I got the first on backwards on then. My All bad. right, so we're getting to this grand finals. Two buddies going at it. Find no one who's gonna uh, pay the bar tab. Come on, bro. Let's get it. Get the run back. Everyone loves oh. a reset. Yeah, I'm coming from losers. They're gonna have to win uh, first to three. Tio's don't really like resets that much. Yeah, I mean, especially it's late. It's really late, especially if you're yeah. East Coast right now. I am definitely a bit tired, but I'm trying to keep pace. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So. Sorry that you're, uh, listen, we're all here just to play and watch some good here. Yeah. I need I need uh, I need them to hurt and beat each other up so I can eat my taco pills. <laughs> uh, gotta block that bandit banger, but he uses the burst to get out. Good JP air to air. I mean, Soul's yeah. air to air JP is really good, and there's good blocking on that bandit banger. Woke yeah. up some. Get caught yeah, in no, the air, bro. I would always definitely recommend that, like to any beginner soul player, if you're going to be in the air and you yeah, don't just think it's JS, JP, why not? Yeah, yeah, JP JH, those are your go-to buns. 
arguably P more than H, because H ends your turn. P, like, you could just press that button all yeah, day. Yeah, just keep pressing uh, JP, you know? There's, uh, no, there's no doubt. Yeah. Ragnar should have OTG. Like, people mm -hmm. in Ninja Gods need to be aware of when you could OTG to secure kills rather than trying to, like, mm -hmm. do your OK. Yeah, if there's ever, like, a hard knockdown situation where you see someone yeah, like, oh, they're 2K. one death. I'm, I'm pretty sure 2k close slash is a thing most people can do at worst, so... Yeah. And sometimes it's actually, a. Uh, it's also really good for, like, messing up people on their knockdown. Oh, yeah, like, I, I, get I mentioned that earlier about Puddins. Puddins is really good at, like, OTGing people and maintaining pressure while preventing them from, like, blitzing and stuff and, like, mm -hmm. taking care of, like, definitely was doing that against Empire. I remember making that commentary. You might have been busy, but yeah. Messes that up their, uh, backdash timing or DP timing, you know? It's a, it's a just, a slight adjustment you have to be ready for. One thing I've noticed, Ragnarok kind of does have issues anti-airing um, Imp whenever they do jump. So that also might be kind of why it's hard for Imp to stop up backing like that. Is just because they're not really being punished for it until they get yeah. into the corner. Yeah, which is why, like, I'm telling people, y'all just need to 6P, 6P him when he does that. Like, you'll, you'll, you'll kill him. Like, I mean, in, in mid-screen, too. Oh, they whipped their... Bad burst, but, you know, no burst nice punish, dead though. There, yeah, finally, yeah, representing dead the dead angle. angle. Ooh, the clash. Oh, good, they got the punch with Brinson. That would've been hyped if they would've converted off of that. Oh, yeah, I mean, almost. I, don't, I just think, not quite enough awareness, and we are in grand finals of the tournament. There's the FD flash, just to block the Volcanic Viper, just enough meter. Oh, but the right stamp to punish. punish. Yeah, yeah stamp to punish. Pent windmill or whatever it's called. <laughs> the downside is the like jump oh. trades with the gunflame. Yeah, even if you hit soul gunflame, I'm pretty sure it's still around. So yep. persistent. Mm -hmm. It uh, doesn't. It doesn't go away because it's such a short range projectile. It's like doesn't go away. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just takes a long time to get out there and be persistent. Yeah. The one thing I would like to see from Imp as well is whenever they are blocking these buttons, like there are plenty of times where Imp can air throw, especially because they accidentally instant block stuff, you know? So like yeah, recognize yeah, yeah. the instant block flash and just press 4H. Well, here's no. the thing, if they're, if they're accidentally doing it, they're not ready for it to be an yeah, ID. I, so. I tell you, we're seeing a lot of situations where Imp is, Imp is getting into a good situation, just doesn't quite have the awareness quite yet to capitalize off of it. Like the Roman cancel and being in a position where they can bait the burst. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. He's gonna, he's gonna do grand, it. Grand, he's finals, gonna grand, grand finals, by the way. I mean, <laughs> one, as soon as we see Hellfire State, it's Ray the Warrior. He's gonna become unblockable. Yeah, yeah, buddy, you gotta do something. Just I mean, run all through it. The, the best thing, the, the, I'm gonna be honest, I think the best general, maybe I'm, I'm not saying this is like, this is just my opinion, so you know, take whatever you will. I think the best answer to Spare Hawk Stance is actually to dash up an FD break because it's oh, a low absolutely. risk. Because it's like a low risk for liberal alert option, and if they let go, and if they keep going and they make it a blockable, then you're probably close enough to like come up with another answer if they just keep holding it. I'm actually it, pretty certain as well. Soul can just Grand Viper, and that actually will probably beat all options. You can yes. profile the low option out of it. Yeah, then that, that is definitely what Ragnar should just be doing. Yep, and just speaking like that. of low profiling things, excuse me? I'm tired of blocking. I don't want to block anymore. I choose violence. Man. Today I learned. Um, I could have swore I've seen. I mean, I guess it's. So I guess Imp has just been meeting Ragnell with 2H before they get the chance to go into the invul of that? I don't know. 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 But, but that can happen. Guilty Gear, baby. You learn something new every day. That was tight. Yeah, if you learned anything from watching me... If you learned anything from watching me commentate, it's that even the, even the most jaded of people don't know everything. It's true. Alright, so Imp is fighting for their life out here. Gonna have to make a run back, but Ragnall does not have no meter right now, so you know, it's good position Stop. for him to be in an oh, FD in the air. They FD'd in the yeah, air and they, they, they figured it. it out. I'm so proud of them. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, FDing in Stop. the air is very good, so unfortunately just gets caught in the corner and doesn't fight their way out. Was that three or is that two? I think that's two. We'll find that's out two. here in a second. Another of us count. That's Rudy can count. That's, that's two. two. All so, right, so it's got to make the adaptation, I think, now, if they're going to get back. Yeah, that round was data. I agree, Roth. All right. Imp's got to do a few things. Get out of the corner. It's not your It's not your preferred environment. Just leave. Just get up. No one can keep you there besides yourself, especially when you jump on and they don't beat you. There's... There's a reference to the chat. They're probably talking about me. <laughs> yeah. So I'm right. wondering, like, 
I'm thinking that uh, Riot Stamp is punishing 2H's recovery, but I actually don't know, because it's not like... I'm pretty sure it pre it does, but it's a big read, because if they don't do 2H, or if Axel just RCs the 2H, you could 6P it. Um, so cool. it it's definitely something worth going for, you just have to be aware of it. It's kind of like Soul Axe, uh, but then can do Mega Fist. Oh, we're getting over both players with... Oh no. Dang, oh, there's the first shift, shift, shift passing the night. Yep. Oh, I think, uh, go oh, I like, oh, they let go. They, I like that adaptation uh, from Ragnall, even even if Ragnall's still, like, winning here. Like, Ragnall made the adaptation of running forward, jumping forward, and pressing JP to catch him holding up back. Just to, just to like, you know, do something a little bit better, I'm going to punish this habit of yours even harder. So, oh, goes for the raw Grand oh. Viper, doesn't put baiting burst maybe, but doesn't quite get the kill. Nice. Sipped out, yeah, got an FD. Which is also pretty good on Imp, because Imp hasn't actually been going for that option until just then, for obviously the chip kill. Yeah, so, I mean, Imp's staying alive in this. Ragnall's still got to win uh, two rounds, still got to win this whole match. Of, but you know what, any buffer you can make. And that can sometimes be all like nice block imp, good job. Uh, that can yeah. be all imp needs is just like, yo, I got that one. I can do this. Oh, imp with all this. No! Oh no, the domi burst. It's all a domi burst, folks. And with all that risk, that's so much life. Stop double jumping imp. You're killing yourself. Just yeah, it's, it's it's an unfortunate bad habit, and I am, I'm almost 100% nice. certain. If if imp comes back and watches this vod, they're gonna say. Wow, I really was jumping a lot. You might not even be thinking about how much you, what you're doing. Yeah, when you're in the moment, sometimes like you're not really focused on the big picture. You're just you can't see the forest for the trees. You're yeah. just like focused on like surviving. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's, I, that's, I, I, I did not know Grand Viper gets under two H. Honestly, then what's he supposed to do? Three H, or three K rather. Sorry. I don't know Axel points. Damn. Uh, it's basically the same as Sin's 3k. Dead angle. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Going to be a lot of damage off of this with oh. that risk guard. But drops the combo. Axel has a very weird hurt box. That is probably That's why it. that dropped. That's and an there's option. the trade. You know what? Imp that tried. trade works. Well, Imp, Imp had the right idea. They just did it a bit slow. All right. Imp finally got their burst oh. back. Yeah, get, has to burst now. Ooh. Oh, and there it is. Just oh. then. No, it didn't do the follow-up. That would have hit the overhead and doesn't get caught in the air. Gonna no. have to FD that, buddy! The chip damage. Oh. And that is congratulations to Ragnall. Thank you for joining NKO. Get out of beginners. You're going on to intermediate. Woo! So I want to say great showing. Um, we had a lot of new players show up this week. Um, great showing to everyone. Congratulations, Ragnall, for winning it all. Um, Imp, congrats on second place. Good showing. Hopefully we'll see you uh, next NKO. And Caitlin, I know you basically joined saying, like, ha, I'll probably go 0-2. But, like, you know what? Good work. You got third place. You showed up with your Zato and your Ramoth all playing two characters in a beginner bracket. is really impressive. Um... I guess we're not getting a picture right now because it's super late and I think people got to go to bed. Um, so thank you everyone for uh, joining. Um, it's super late here, so I'm not going to hold 